Hello, everyone, and welcome to D and D with Chrissy. Uh, Chrissyosity, I guess, is what we're doing. Um, and we want to welcome you to our inaugural inaugural kickoff episode. But all right, so I will kick it over to you, Chrissyosity. All right, I'm sorry. So anyway, hey, and welcome. Um, this is our first ever time all playing together. Though we did have a previous D and D game the sound sauvage and today is the very last um time that people will be uh performing for the season and next year they're planning well next year next season they are planning to have crossed the desert and gone into a whole new country to start anew and spread their joy so I would like, first of all, I would like everyone to roll a D100. Fast roll, fast roll, fast roll, fast roll. <laughs> fast roll. Okay. Okay. Five. Whole five for me. A whole five. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually using this for a couple of different things, so I figured, you know, I will streamline it. So, um, Eldon, we are going to start with you and your character. It is a couple of hours before nightfall when the performance will start. Um, where are you here on our map? What are you doing? And And what is your character like? Sure. I, I think, am hanging out in uh, one of in my cart. I am Elden Arnas, the tinkerer, artificer of the group. So I spend most of my time uh, working on Wish, who is my fun construct uh, battle uh, smith thing. I forget what they're called. Um, Steel Defender. And so I will probably be spending most of my time tinkering with her and trying to improve her or practicing one of my many magic tricks. That I have. I do a daily performance with a Wish, and we show off some action, not some actual magic, but some uh, real world magic. So we do a lot of um, sleight of hand and smoke and mirrors kind of stuff. All right. Um, yeah, I'll, first let's just go through each of the people, and then we'll start little doing little scenes of just things that are going on. Um, Wool, nope, actually ringleader, you are next. All right. Uh, I'd say that the ringleader is being wherever the most hubbub is. So if, and you know, this is entirely based on like what the situation is, what is going on at the place. If the Sauvage is open for business, then I will most certainly be in the big top. Uh, if it is more like a setup period, I will no doubt be as assisting with quotation marks. Um, somebody put up the tables and chairs um, and we'll get to why I am quotation marks assisting people as opposed to actually assisting later. Okay. Uh, Wolks. 
Hmm. I would most likely be. Yeah, I would. I am setting. I am getting ready for my performance. I am ensuring I have all my materials and uh, warming up. Your character? I am the strong man. The strong lizard. The strong lizard. <laughs> All right. Uh, Viani. Yep, I think Viani would probably be using the staff area to warm up. What and... are you? Oh, uh, sorry. Can you oh. describe your character? Yeah. So. Nope. Go ahead. Yeah, I am playing Viani, also sometimes known as Lucky. She seems to have an unusual amount of luck. Um, Nimblefoot, of the famous Nimblefoot, she is. Uh, known for her um, uh, dexterity and her grace and her showmanship in the big top. She's a trapeze artist, acrobat, does all that kind of um, amazing stunts. And she would probably be limbering up in the staff area, kind of like, you know, not wanting to put on her show face just yet, but um, having, you know, getting herself mentally ready for later on. And that's it. Did I miss something? Okay. <laughs> okay. Nope. <laughs> Zill. So, oh, you can't hear the fan. Whatever. Um, Zill is a uh, drow. Uh, he is the uh, fortune teller of this carnival. Loner type figure. He's sitting by his cart currently alone, uh, setting up his thing. Uh, making things look nice, and pausing every now and then to smoke from a pipe and sit under the shade. Okay. Uh, temerity. Temerity uh, is a winged um, tiefling. I don't know why that word escapes me for a moment. Who will be in the tent? Sorry, in the foo's tent. Busy preparing the first batch of products for the day. Mm -hmm. All right, what's on the, what are you cooking up today? It's got a few croissants, a few breads. It's got someone cutting up some cold meat, so I need to go in and have some sandwiches. All right. And marble. Thank you. Um, Marble will be hopping around from place to place, helping everybody set things up. And Marble is the type of work, uh, type, why can't I say that? Tight rope walker, and she's a cleric, um, and she's a foxy. All right, that is everybody. So yeah, as you're all doing your um, various uh, ways of, of getting set up, Elden, there is, you see the, uh, the leader of the workers. He is a Loxodon, um, this guy here. Let's see if I can't get him a little bigger for you to see. Uh, very tough looking elephant man guy, lots of tattoos, lots of piercings, you know, he does a lot of the security and he also, uh, you know, obviously this, this circus is a co-op, obviously it is, uh, democratically run, uh, by everyone, uh, but he's sort of keeps an eye on the workers and especially the the people that sort of come and go and, and just do temporary work and then leave again because that's kind of place it is and you know he comes up to you and he's like hey Eldon how's it going boss man no that's not bad there's a guy here says his name is Montgomery says he's an old friend of yours you want me to let him in Mm, old friend, you say, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, sure, I'll talk to him. 
All right. It's all right. Uh, he leaves and comes back a minute later with a man you read, well, young man that you remember from your school days. Calling him a friend would be a bit of an exaggeration, but he's somebody who did go to your school, uh, magic school back in the day. And he comes in and he says, oh, Eldon, how are you? Hey, uh, dude, how's it going? It's uh it's been a bit uh what are you what are you doing here of all places oh i've got bethany and we're going to come and see the show later she can't wait you remember bethany of course oh yeah yeah um sweet gal uh, she cannot wait well um i hope i hope you enjoy the show um you know mine my my part doesn't start till the end. The save the save the best for last kind of thing around here. Um. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, listen, I was wondering. I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. I was wondering if we could have a little chat, just you and me, as old friends. Uh, yeah, man. Um, sure. Why not? Um, I'm. Pretty sure we can go. Uh, I think they're setting up the stands right now, so we'll probably find a spot over there. Delightful. I can't wait. Always wondered how a place like this um, gets itself together. Must be quite. Uh, it's a lot of hard work and sweat from a lot of very uh, dedicated people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Indeed. Uh, so he uh, goes with you. Where do you take him? I think I will take him. I want to take him back to my cart. This guy's sketchy. So <laughs> I will take him to um, like a nice little open spot in, in the field, like out here. So you can look at people, but not necessarily be next to them. <laughs> he seems just as happy as that, too. He's he looks at people as if they're going to give him something um not something good like the cold or something and he says well um yes it has been a while hasn't it how was your family uh i'm pretty sure they're okay um you know i'm I'm traveling around don't really get to get to chat with them as often as i'd like Uh, of course of course um well that was sort of part of what I wanted to talk to you about. I understand you are headed into La Zola for the next season. That's, that's the plan. Yeah. um, Well, that's delightful. Um, See, here's the thing. We've all been very concerned about the new uh, people settling in that country it's a very very odd place for anyone to want to go and of course they are very very odd people aren't they um i try not to judge people until i get to meet them did i did i lose you yeah uh, you might have um i don't uh i try not to judge people until i get to meet them you know everyone's their own person Of course, of course. Uh, You see, here's what we were thinking, though. It is so hard to get people in to really get in a a position to check these people out. Uh, We thought maybe you could go and just keep your eyes and ears open, you know, and if there's anything that you find that's interesting, any uh, things that, you know, here we are of the nobility, we have to make sure that these people are up to snuff and not trying to do anything funny or looking at Teluna as a place where they might want to spread out to, we wouldn't want them. I, um, like, all right, man, I, you got to tone it down with that. Like, I, I know that I went out to the school with you, but that wasn't, uh, that wasn't my thing. It's why I'm not there. Uh, these are hardworking people, and uh, you know I have no reason to to suspect them of anything anything wrong, unless you have some evidence of something happening. Like they're they're good, hardworking people. 
Oh, of course, no doubt, no doubt at all. But you have to be careful in this world. You know, I, I'm pretty sure that your family, well, I know that they still think that you are at the conservatory. And yeah. You know, and here's what I'm thinking. If you were willing to do something for us, willing to just help us out a little bit, I'd be willing to tell them that you were just on um on an extended project. It wouldn't it would of course be true. You know, helping out the country. That's uh very kind of you. Um to do me such a such a favor. Um yeah, uh I think I might be able to manage something for you. Oh, wonderful. Uh, yes, he, you do let me know what, what you need and I'll, I'll see what I can do for you. He hands you a sending stone and he says, you should be able to use this privately to pass a message back and forth. Just anything that you see that is might be of interest to you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make sure to keep you up to date on everything. Wonderful. He shakes your hand and he says, um, uh, if uh, I'll make sure to have Bethany come by and say hello. Oh, yeah, no, I'd love to see her again. She's a great gal. Mm, isn't she? I, uh, you know, of course, our families go way back. But um, yeah, that is and how it is. You. Yeah, no, I'll uh thanks thanks for stopping by. Good good to see you, man. I'll uh, uh don't don't miss out on the show and I'll I'll see you later. Um uh, don't uh, I wouldn't bother some of these workers. They've been working real hard today. So you no, know just of course not. Yeah, yeah. The door the, the exit's out that way. Um, you, can, you can find it. You're you're fine. Thank you. Yes. A cheerio. Yeah, yeah, cheerio, man. <laughs> So after that, is there anything that you do? Or what? After he leaves. All right. So he leaves. Is there anything after that that you do? Or Oh, yeah. I'm going to go find a boss man um, and uh, tell him not to let him back in. Uh. <laughs> he says, yeah, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Look, thanks. Uh, thanks. Men smell like rose petals. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the nobles around here, they they think that makes them uh, makes them not as stink as the rest of us. But, you know, they're still just smelly on the inside anyway. Mm. Hey, no problem. I got you. Awesome. Thanks, best man. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. Um, he will also head over to the ringleader. And he says, uh, hey, uh, I don't know if anybody's going to want a couple of jobs uh, later, make some extra money, but I've, I've heard some things. There's some stuff around. I know that you guys got a lot of places to go. You know, doesn't hurt to have a little extra cash. Kayla. Kayla. Hmm? Oh, yes. Yeah. I need you to tell me what it is. What are these jobs? Oh, yeah. So uh, there's out in the uh, fields, a few miles away from where we're at. I hear what somebody. Field? What field? What field? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it has some special name. I can uh, show you on a map. Okay. There's like um, a cave, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some old guy went looking at this cave, mm -hmm. and he turned to stone. Oh, is that so, bad? I think so. Ah, uh, so are we gonna get him back? No, no, no. They already, they already are. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're just planted him somewhere. It's none of my business. You know what I mean? These but uh, grow, then. Whatever, 
like if he got turned to stone, I'm figuring it wasn't like he was just walking along and turned into stone. Like, you know, people figure maybe there's something out there that's turning people into stone. Okay. And what about the money? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking 500 gold for the whole thing. Uh, but then there's another one, another job. They're having a problem in the sewers out in Now Hoot. Uh -huh. Yeah, there was some kind of uh, issue, and there's some, like, uh -huh. bugs that uh, eat the uh -huh. metal. I don't like, I don't like sewers. They smell. Well, that's true. That's true. But the money's good. I figure I can get 100 gold for everybody on that one. Might be dangerous though, uh -huh. and it will smell. Uh huh. Okay, I just got to finish this now. And um, for the sake of the audience, uh, Kalo has been up until this point speaking to a piece of scaffolding that has split across its wood above some of the planking, uh, you know, a mouth. It's a very strange mouth, and it's kind of, it's not like a very well-defined one. It just looks like a kind of, as if somebody has hacksawed a hole through this plank of wood. But Kayla doesn't seem to be particularly bothered by it. And You know me. I don't judge. Yeah. And uh, once uh, the ringleader is done with the assistance that he's been given, which is to set up a bunch of table, like basically park or garden tables with a, you know, a crane. Um, he assumes his normal shape of a reasonably, reasonably large um, and highly amorphous looking pile of slime. Um, the only thing that particularly makes them uh in any kind of like idea of being odd or different from any other kind of slime is their color their coloration they are a deep indigo with yellow speckles and a small collection of them at the radial front quote unquote of it kind of defines it defines its face and the fact that it is wearing an almost comically large hat this is this is a very large hat minotaurs would say that's a big hat um but in any case um yeah ringleader's gonna get on and is gonna go to the first person that they know to be an adventurer of any repute and that is lucky i'm going to go get lucky because lucky knows what to do Right. Yeah, she's her halfling. She's in her like not her formal, you know, like show gear. She's just in sort of like more casual yoga pants and, you know, sports bra, I guess. <laughs> doing flips and doing her little like, you know, halfling like very sm short tumbles, but uh, very quick as well. And you're just going to relate the information that you uh, got. I'm I'm actually going to not I'm actually going to be uh, I'm going to tell you that I want to talk to you the way that I think the uh, the ringleader wants to talk to you, which is by staring at you for an immense amount of time until you eventually look at me. Mm -hmm. And then I go, Bjarne, Bjarne, I need to talk to you. Bjarne. Okay, she'll stop because she knows that this will just go on. So she, she walks over, <laughs> puts on a, you just got a smile. Hey, ringleader. What's up, boss? I need you. I need your help. Okay. What do you need help and with? I, and I relay the information in the usual way, which is, um, you know, just me kind of saying, Kalo wants to get us money, and there's money, and someone turned into a statue, but they've planted him, so he's okay. Um, and there's a there there are some there are some bugs in a sewer. Oh, sewers smells... smell bad. Yeah. I know. It's a bit bad, isn't it? I don't want to go. Oh, we need the money, if I'm honest, especially if we don't know what the shows are going to be like once we go to the next place, so probably should do it. we You've got can. a point there. Yeah, it's okay. good to have a reserve. My parents What's always had, like, a reserve. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. really? Tell me about your parents. Oh, um, maybe how about over dinner? This sounds like something I should probably like organize. Okay. So you go back to what you're doing and I'll, I'll sort it out. <laughs> the ringleader goes back to turning into a fucking crane to set up some chairs. <laughs> okay. Fiani goes back to the other acrobats and uh, she just kind of waves them off because she only wants certain people for the job that she knows can properly do it. Who does uh, she know can do these jobs? Well, considering from her the adventuring tales her parents told her or were told to her by their friends and admirers. Um, so uh, she will need some magic people. She'll probably need some bashing people. And um, yeah, she's got uh, some people at the uh, circus she thinks could probably put, pull together. Um, there's Marble, who's pretty good. Uh, Temerity is always good in a pinch. Um, Walks, obviously, and probably Zill and Elden, that new guy. Well, probably might be a good time to see what he's got to. Um, he's been kind of re remote and keeping to himself, so it might be a good time to see if um, what kind of magic he does. All right, so you um, send out word to all these people. Where are you going to have everybody go? to uh talk to everyone are you are you talking to them one by one or are you gonna go like just uh, is it get everyone like, together is it near a meal time uh it would be almost dinner at this point okay wait why why to go to them right so she'd be like it's more efficient for me to just wait and kind of sit down and invite some people over to a table for dinner as they're dolloping food on the plate and uh and ask ask her you know like sorority sister acrobatic colleagues to save a table near the fire pit and so she'll ask her handpicked people to meet her over at the fire pit and the ringleader too obviously all right um so, so if i missed anyone i'm sorry it should have been everybody <laughs> <laughs> coincidentally is there anybody else who has something specific they'd like to do before dinner because what's gonna happen it's gonna be dinner once that is um, out of the way, it will be showtime. And then after the showtime, you guys can either go to bed or go and do one of the jobs or whatever you prefer. I don't have anything. Um, he I'm... stretches weeks, but other than that. <laughs> I'm uh, going to be very paranoid about money because I've been told that money is important today. So I'm going to go and spend a little time looking at the finances, but I can't read. So, you know, a bit hard. There's a lot of, um, well, you know what? Roll intelligence. I mean, you, you figured out that there are numbers and they come in columns. And you can kind of tell when a number is big or when it's small. And it looks like, um, it looks like the numbers, they look all right. Uh, eventually, if you keep going through the, these things, Calio is going to come over to you and say, hey, uh, what's up? You I'm gotta, scared, Calo. Uh, are the books? You said money's important, and I don't know what money is. You don't know what money is? No, I'm joking, obviously. Yeah, uh, money is important, but you know, um, so are a lot of things. You know, you don't have to be scared. Okay. You'll be fine. Okay. We take care of you, right? We're a family. Yeah. I like you all. You're very nice. Yeah, I like you too. Come on. Yeah, turn that front upside down. Uh, Ringleader is going to is going to do exactly what Kalo said, um, and is going to turn the circular hole that is its mouth upside down, and be functionally identical. It's a start. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, 
just do the work. You do your job and the money, the people bring the money in, right? That's what how yeah. we get our paid. Yeah, you're right. Okay. All right. All right. Just let me know if you need anything else. Okay. Uh, can I have the books back? You're getting them sticky. Oh, I'm sorry. And no, I'm gonna, don't worry I'm gonna, about I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe the, I'm gonna wipe the pages. That didn't help. All right, little... but thank you. I appreciate you. Doing a great job, man. I, and I think you're gonna be a fantastic rig leader. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. W when you do the, what are you? Some kind of goop? I don't know. I don't want to be personal. I'm a slime. Oh, slime. Yeah. See, see, those are uh, sticky. Oh. Mm. Sorry. No, no problem. Okay. All right. He takes the book and nods at you and leaves. <laughs> okay. All right. Piani doesn't have anything. Uh, actually, she's making some notes from the meeting, but that's it. <laughs> All right. So um, now the dinner that everybody gets together, this is a really kind of a formal, traditional circus dinner. There are tablecloths, there are place settings. People come and, and sit down. There's lots of, uh, for a lot of people in the circus, it's a fan, uh, they bring their families, there are generations of people. So this sort of sense of everybody coming together is sort of a bonding thing, a tradition. So, yeah. And as everybody comes forward, there's been a lovely spread. A lot of pasta today. It's carb heavy, you know. Mm. Give everyone well, energy. Walter's slightly disappointed. Oh, but you know they know you, so they've got a little extra meat on your plate. Good. <laughs> All right. Does everyone go over and sit with Viani? Yes. Yeah, she could serve first and reserve the table, so she's sort of waiting there. But she's not eating her meal. She's waiting for everybody to arrive because she's been brought up right. <laughs> Volks, Volks hasn't. He starts eating immediately. Yeah, she's used to that by now. <laughs> she just Holden smiles. Has, mm, sorry. Holden has, a, has his own, like, metal lunchbox that he fills up with pasta and closes up and then just sits at the table and waits for people. <laughs> And marble skips her way over. Rarity wastes a lot of time. He's busy cooking things very, very quickly. Make sure everybody has their steaks done just right. Uh, After a while, the... he's... Go on. Sib, are you still there? Yep, sorry, yes, oh, sorry. you were going to finish. Yeah. yeah what After a while, he'd come over with some fresh cuts of meat. Nicely seasoned with pepper. Ooh, ooh, that sounds good. Nice. She'll dig into that a little bit. Before Walks can get his hands on it. <laughs> well, everyone. Oh, sorry, the ringleader. Ringleader. Yeah. Ringleader comes in and is just kind of like eating as the ringleader always does. Um, th they they just like sit on the bowl that has been prepared for them and slowly absorbs them using cellular mitosis. Um, all the while proclaiming the greatness of the food, just going, this is great food. Temerity, you're great. This is fantastic. I love your food. Do with a bit of salt. And and yeah, like that. Okay. Oh come on, I know I could throw waffles at you and you'd eat them all day. Please throw waffles at me. I like waffles. And Zill, do you come in and join this? Um... Yes. <laughs> Late. 
having been told something that I didn't particularly expect, I'll show up a bit late and I'll see everyone seated and then I'll probably mosey over shortly thereafter, sitting beside the lizard and then keeping my eye on whoever's left of, left of me from the lizard. <laughs> Well, we're all here. Um, Viani will kind of like dig in and kind of nod to Elden if he's still got his. Um, did Marble say Marble already spoke, right? Yep, Marble's okay, there. Okay. okay. All, right. Uh, all right. So everyone, um, sometimes if you've been around the circus for a while, you know that we are sometimes approached for odd jobs, and the ringleader earlier today was approached for some of these kind of odd jobs that because we have. A certain set of skills when we travel around sometimes we need to we can be of assistance um, and so what I'm about to offer you is completely voluntary but you should know that there will be money in it for you there will be 10% will be taken off the top to fund the circus kind of like a finders fee but each of you will be eligible for your percentage minus that and that way we keep the circus going and we put a little extra money in our pockets and so here are the jobs that we've been asked to do. And she'll explain what was already narrated. What, what is odd about the, that job? Oh, it's just not you circus it... work. It's outside the circus. And we can use violence. How does that make it odd? We can use real violence if we have to. She's trying to appeal to what she thinks he'll be interested in. <laughs> it's more that he doesn't understand the con the concept of an odd job. He thinks you're saying that the the job is odd. And she's trying to finesse that by saying, "Well, it's not his usual task, so it's odd from his usual day job." But maybe that didn't work. Uh, so, um, I thought, given the requirements of the job and the ringleader, kind of prefers to, you know, sometimes see us delegate this work and see how we perform, right, ringleader? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Would uh, any of you be interested in leaving the circus area and going out and doing this extra job? She looks at Wilkes. Yes. When? Hmm, good question. Um, I'm going to ask, uh, do we know the timetable? Was there a timetable given that I'm forgetting? Uh, there, there's not a specific timetable, but obviously you can't do it till after the yeah. show. Mm -hmm. And um, from there, you're leaving in a couple of days. So it's it, you'd have like a day or two to get everything done. We could probably um, make an extra bit of extra time, ringleader, if we have some of the people who put up and down the circus tents help us out by packing the bags and uh, uh, not touching any personal things, but taking that burden off of us when we're doing this extra work. I think that could be arranged. Don't you? They're very busy. Yeah. It'll be a lot of work. Just like an extra half an hour or something while we're away earning extra money. Okay. I'll sort it out. So, I think the ringleader wants to know if you're interested. Marble is going to be very much interested in going. She's going to say yes immediately. I have already given my answer. Sure. Excellent. Don't mind getting dirty once in a while, as long as it's ethical. Oh yes, definitely. I guess I can't just let you all go on your own. I mean, Wonderful. you can. There's literally nothing preventing you from doing that. <laughs> I, I think. Have I ever told you about out. freshwater fish, Wilkes? <laughs> no. We should have a conversation about it someday. Okay. <laughs> Why? 
I think you would find them very interesting. Okay. He just looks at you weird and continues eating. <laughs> yeah. Theani puts food in her mouth to cover up the smile. Okay. Was there... there anything else you wanted to go over? You um, said there were multiple jobs. Which one? Oh, that's a good question. You want to check out the turning to stone or the sewers? They smell. Which one gives the most shiny metal discs? Well, I think on the second job, ringleader, correct me if I'm wrong, but it would be 90 gold per person. Without, with minus the finder's fee. And the other one? I think the total was 500. So 50 taken off the top, and then 450 split. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ways. She kind of like her, her kind of ginger hair. She sort of like flips it back from the ponytail because the wind had blown it over her shoulder a bit. Well, we should obviously do the one that gives the most. So the sewers? Lizard does have a logic. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I can assault my sense of smell for a bit of money, for that much money, so... Yeah, I'm in. Whatever people decide. Yes. Well, clearly that's what we're doing then. Yeah. Right. All right. Where... It is 90 gold. Per person. Yes. Per creature. For yes. Being... I counted. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yes, yeah, so after the show, we can meet maybe back here and head out on our way. Make sure you don't wear wear anything you'd ever want to wear again. Uh, could we make sure that, um, since I'm bringing Wish along, that we count as two? It is per creature, after all. Uh, I don't see that meets, meets the language of the contract. He is a creature. Yes, that's true. Everyone who takes Bart gets 100, so... Well, yeah, 90. 90. Find his free. Yep. Perfect. Wish when I get in. hurt, the bugs eat metal. They make frost. I, I have taken yeah, great care to ensure to that she does not rust. Okay. She's made of a very special alloy. I, I'm quite... I'm very certain of my skills with, with making her. She'll, she'll be fine. I don't want him... I don't want her to get hurt. Okay. She'll be fine. Promise. Okay. He's got to wait. Oh, can you unmute? I think Pasta got cut off. Yeah. Apparently she didn't because R&D was just shaking oh, I was saying, <laughs> I was saying that Eldin just has a way with lady robots. Okay. Yeah, just think... with a robot. Yes. Yeah, she's just a robot. You met her. Oh. I didn't notice. Oh. She's a very personality. Very shining personality, yes. Mostly because I polish her. Was there anything else that we needed to discuss? <laughs> and unless you want a dessert, which I always skip. We need to Zero get ready for the show. Anything. He gets up and leaves. Okay. Yes, uh, the break a leg. cake, and none of you want it. I want the cake. I want okay. cake. <laughs> I will definitely have some cake to go. And with that, Mamchi wanders off to find the cake again, and returns with several slices. Vox just eats what the whole slice, his whole slice in one bite, and then leaves. They, to Temerity, it looks delicious. And if I didn't have to, you know, fit in my costume, I would eat your desserts every night. But you know, I only do it once a week. So thank you. It looks gorgeous. Um, I'm, I'm sure gonna pick up her slice. Later. 
Oh, Marvel's gonna pick up her slice of cake like it's a slice of pizza and eat it like that <laughs> while she's walking away. Samerity is just going to laugh and enjoy this moment. Yeah, so back to the tent to put on my sexy, sexy outfit. Okay. All right, so is there anything anyone wants to do before the start of the circus proper? Well, I need to prepare my the opening part of my act. So I need someone to chain me up so I can break them. That's about it. I'm sure there's someone at the, um, the side show that has that job. Yeah, I'm sure there is. <laughs> Uh, is it actually possible that we work together with that box? Sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to become the chains that Walks is going to break out of. And that is going to be both mine and his appearance into this circus. Okay. Aren't you, aren't you, in, the, aren't you in the big tent, though? Oh. Are you not in the big tent? No, I I'm apologize. That's what you were going to. Oh, well, in that case, that's my own mistake. I apologize. Okay. Yeah. So, in one second, I'm going to try to see. All right. Okay. So, as the circus, um, yeah. what? As the circus begins, um, people start coming in. This is the last uh, big show, so it's packed. Um, before any of the performances start, Temerity, uh, you're probably out doing whatever it is that you do, if you want to describe any anything. Temerity will be at his cart, which is at the food tent. And he's busy decorating cakes, making sandwiches, selling them on the spot, giving them to the um, crowds, the audience who are going to make their way into the tents. And that music is really loud, isn't it? Yeah. You can turn it down in settings yourself. Yes. Okay, I'm Are looking you? for it now. <laughs> it's very loud. Oh, right. That's the first Got it. thing under your name. Got it. Oof, that's much better. Thank you. <laughs> so, can actually, could Sib repeat? Um, could Sib repeat what they said? Because it was covered. very loud. <laughs> what am I looking for to turn that down? When you go to the settings, the little wheel, um, the little and cog. yeah, the ah. little cog. There's a slider. Like the second thing is like a slider. Yeah. Master, Master music, music volume control. control. It, it yeah, defaults to 100%. So that's yes. the yeah, default. That was, yeah. Wow. Well, I'm sorry. I should have warned people. I didn't realize it would <laughs> blow everyone's ear. Up. The fact that nice, <laughs> nice sound effects, though, I like. It's quite a beat. Um, Okay, Timothy is at his food cart, which is in the food tent, or just outside it, because it's got the oven still going. And he is making sandwiches, decorating cakes, making sure the crowd has the food they want as they enjoy the circus. All right. So, what skill do you think you use? Uh, why don't you give me a, a skill check to see how well you do? I must admit, I'm tempted to say performance because he tries to do it all with a bit of flair. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Well, you see um, people come in, and at first they're a little taken aback by this winged tiefling in a kilt. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, you know, they get a, a scent of your what you have on, and they see how friendly and welcoming you are, and you do very well uh, for the entire time. Um, let's see. I would say 
the sideshow and extra performers would probably be next. So that would be Zill. When do you open your tent up? Uh, just about as soon as I can, really. Um, anything to open it up simply, I can go into the tent and not be outside. Um, and that's uh, where I'll be remaining until someone comes inside this obviously set up uh, fortune telling tent. Okay, sorry. Uh, am I muted? Now you're not. Okay, for some, I got muted somehow. Um, all right, well, the first people to come in are a couple of kind of giggling teenage girls from the area, and they're kind of, <laughs> you, know, you go, you go, you go first. And then uh, one of them comes up to you and says, so, like, you tell the future? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, so, um, can, can you tell my future? Of course I can. I can see all threads of anyone's fate. What is it you wish to know? And, well, and I motion towards the jar. I don't work for free. <laughs> um, she takes out a couple of gold and puts them in and says, um, well, am I going to get married to Bartley? Or, uh, not? Well, let's take a look. And, uh, he's going to pull out, thinking about his repertoire of random junk he has under the desk, he pulls out a crystal ball and sits on the table. Placing his hand as he does, he casts Minor Illusion into the crystal ball itself, uh, making it fill with smoke. And as he does, he watches it for a while, kind of creating this image that almost seems like a feminine figure within the smoke itself, before it shows uh, the image of some man figure vaguely shaped in which they're together at some beautiful wedding before that image smokes away as it finishes he looks at them and goes was that enough answer for you she is crying and she's like oh my god okay um why don't you roll performance and you can roll it with advantage for that um now i should be the one to point out that all our performers kind of roll with their special skill whatever I think with you it is charisma. It's, it's charisma. Yeah. But uh, people can roll and add, instead of charisma, they can add strength or dexterity, depending on what it is that they're actually doing. Right. 23. 23. Oh, yeah. You are just inundated. This girl goes out and tells every teenage person that she knows that you you can see into the future and she's never been so impressed so pretty soon half of the under 25 year olds uh it's a little obnoxious to be honest but they give you a lot of money so. that works for me <laughs> all right and wolks Cool. All right. So you have been, um, Calio probably helped you if nobody else did change up real good, real tight. So, uh, people, as they come into the sideshow tent, they just see this large, um, speckled, poisonous looking lizard just wrapped up in chains. And, and what, if you could describe your what you do i wait for everyone to come in to be able to fill in 
And then as I start to start to my performance, I um I basically expand my arm, like attempt to with strength make the chain break. So I free myself from it. All right. Why don't you roll a strength check then? Okay. Mm, strength. 20. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it just pops off. So parts of it go flying into the crowd and people are like, oh, oh, all right. Oh, yeah. Uh, but nobody gets hurt. You know, you've done this before a dozen times, if not more. Um, so, yeah. Is that what else do you do? I have a I have a few um, like other feats of strength, lifting lifting some like really heavy lo looking dumbbells about my head, and then I bring out. The strongman game, the classic, you hit the thing with the hammer to get, make the thing go up and hit the bell. And I do it, like I just full on smash it, smash into the, um, like to make it hit, fly up and hit the bell. <laughs> and then I look at the audience. Does anyone think they can do this feat as well? I pick out, like, I search the crowd for, like, the type of, like, probably man, the type of, like, who think they're a little, like, a little too, uh, the think, probably think a little too highly of how strong they are. All right. Uh, why don't you roll either perception or insight? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. 14. Yeah, you find a couple of guys who come up. One is a uh, an elven man who's, you know, he's there with a date and he's looking like he's going to, you know, try to impress her. So let's see. I'm going to say he has a plus. Let's say it would be probably a plus three to his strength. He's pretty strong. Oh, you think he's, he's as strong as me. Mm, 14. Doesn't quite do it, I don't think. But it gets up there, right? Oh, well, if you attempt Yeah, yeah, I feel, well, yeah, sure, of course it is. Um, thanks. And he kind of goes off and... And uh, pretty soon a dwarven guy comes up. <clears throat> He's... Gets the hammer and he sort of pops it on says, yep, good good solid hammer you've got here all right um and he's going to give it a whack and <laughs> does not do well uh bonk oh oh i, I think it's coming loose uh, i think it got loosened he gives the ends the hammer back to you gonna want to tighten that i i don't answer him i just um like do it like with one hand just uh, next to him and just show that no it fucking works alright roll, roll strength again alright yeah well I mean you get it up there it's not with the same where you just wallop it this is just a one handed thing but you know you got it up higher than he did that sounded bad <laughs> But in any case, <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, why don't you roll performance for this? And you can add your strength modifier. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, so, okay. So it's, it would be this plus two. Okay, 14. Yeah. Um, some of the guys look a little mm, intimidated, maybe. Uh, and nobody's really able to, to whack the thing as good as you do. So uh, a lot of the guys kind of like grabbing whoever they're with and going, let's just, let's go see that here. They got, you know, some guy who 
who eats uh, bullets or something. (laughs) And uh, (laughs) so you make some money, you know, it it comes in, but it's not quite as as much as some nights, let's put it that way. (laughs) People are a little too intimidated. Okay. So, um... Can I do an insight check to see if I actually figure that out? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you've been around these people enough to know, like, these people do get a little intimidated by you sometimes, and it, it's kind of difficult. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. I... That, that's my performance. All right. Um, so. All right, we will start with in the big top. What does the ringleader do? You're obviously starting out. Uh, Vianney would give him bardic inspiration like she does every night. Uh, okay, uh, I will give you guidance. Aha! Right back at you. Um, Yeah. Um, So, the entrance of the ringleader is legit going to be that um, as people are kind of filing in, there is a bucket. Like, kind of in, not dead centre, but, you know, kind of in the centre of the stage, you know? And as people are kind of sitting down and, you know, kind of wondering oh, what's going on, um, the lights dim slightly. And then somebody who's a plant kind of shouts, oh, look up there. And they see the ringleader in his slime form um, fall and splatter into the bowl like so much gelatin. Um, and then very, very quickly transform into, um, one of the ringleader's personae. This particular one is called, uh, Happy Helk. Uh, a big, strong looking and very, very hairy man. Uh, the clothing that is that they are that uh, happy helk is wearing which happens to be like a very strong very you know tight fitting and practically too small for him um like three piece suit with you know basically a bit like a butler think like that but still with that little hat with that massive hat of his and he um sort of says ladies and gentlemen Boys and girls, welcome! And I'm not going to keep doing that because I don't want to blow anyone's earbuds out or anything. So he just continues like that. Um, And very much like a night and day difference between um, how, you know, the ringleader is um, outside of showbiz and when they are in showbiz. Um... And they talk at length about how they got uh, Viani the the Lucky, who is the newbound scion of the, uh, uh, who is a newbound scion of the people of the Nimblefoots. I apologize. Uh, And bring out different people talking about marble in the sky, you know, and like bring out everybody. We show animals from all around the world. Something that links everything that happens is, um, is the ringleader says that everything that happens there is his. Basically, it's from some kind of story that he's got that he talks about at, that he would talk about at length if not for um you know his assistant probably viani viani would you be down to be an assistant yeah sure yeah um just keeps interrupting and going no we need to do something else we need She's to gonna start reaching for the hook yeah pulling kind of thing. Off. yes and that's kind of like the way that they go the way that um the ringleader goes about this one yes all right. Well, why don't you roll your performance? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, and add your bardic inspiration. I apologize, I did not put down my bardic inspiration. Uh, and that is a d4, correct? Um, that's a good question. I have to look at the thing. It starts off at... Ah, d6. Yes, a d6. Okay. All right. So that is a 17 altogether. All right. So very good. So at first people are like, what is happening? You know, they see this, uh, you know, you're a gelatin and then you're a person and then you're running around and you're like, but pretty soon, you know, they get over that initial just wonder and and they're staring at you and just like really fascinated with everything that you're doing so mm -hmm. um, and now... um the a thing that would be that like i would like to include is i would say that uh uh that the ability that the persona of happy helk is like the person who the ringleader is pretending to be so they say that actually they have a spell cast upon them by mab queen of all witches after a very long stint of being her consort and that is to be as quick and as loving as my heart will ever be and it turns out that being a slime is as quick as as loving as my heart will ever be <laughs> Well, people very much, they're a little confused, but they clap. They they think it's just, it's a great show. Not something you see every day, that's for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> and now I'm just going to go in uh, by the alphabet, because you're all stars here. <laughs> um, Eldon, so you come out to do your show. What does that look like? Um, there is, uh, you see Eldon come out with Wish, his robot assistant, um, looking, um, you, you see Wish all the time. The crew always sees Wish, and when she's out and around working, she looks like a robot lady. When she's out here, she is wearing uh, way too tight of clothes. Um, she seems to be more anthropomorphized than usual, uh, and just very unnecessarily sexy robot for the crowd. Um, and so she comes out and uh, they do uh, a few card tricks where they call people up from the from the audience say hey come on up I'll pick a card any card and uh, finds a card uh, in people's wallets in the crowd in their money money sacks it's like oh you over there you have it uh, and as the show goes on it gets the the scale of the magic tricks get bigger and bigger until at the end he sets up uh, him and Wish set up a piece of glass in the middle of the of the stage and Wish goes to the one side of it carrying a um, six shot revolver because why not and uh, aims it directly at Eldon. Um, she shoots the pistol off um, with a loud bang and the, the glass shatters so that you know that the bullet went through it. Uh, Eldon's head reels back. Uh, he looks stunned for a moment, and when he cuts back out, he reaches into his mouth and pulls out the bullet from uh, from the revolver. All right. Roll performance with whichever yeah. skill you use. Uh, 19 plus 5. 24. People are just hooting and hollering for you and, and wish. <laughs> they have That is amazing. People don't usually see revolvers or guns at all or robots these are all very new things that to sort of have one show where they have all this stuff together it's just amazing people are blown away you get a standing ovation all right marble okay so marble is going to take a bow in front of the crowd before scaling up to the tightrope. And then she's going to take a dramatic pause before starting to walk. And then about a third of the way on her walk, she pretends like, oh, she's gonna fall. 
and then she catches herself and then just leaps across the the tightrope to the end and then takes another bow. All right. A roll performance. Yeah, people are, they're like, yay! You know, can't beat a good, um, a good, I guess, tightrope walker. It's always something cool to see. All right, and then we will end off with Viani, Lucky Viani. So Viani is backstage and she's got something worked out with the pyrotechnics people. And what she does is she like has them, they time it so that she can kind of run out when the circus ring is dark and then the lights come on and the explosion, the smoke puffs up and then she's just supposed to be there. When that, then she like uh, sort of like does some flourishes, gymnastic style, and then she sort of hops over and starts climbing up. Do we have a band? Like some drum rolls yep. and okay. Oh yeah. Right. So they're doing kind of marching stuff, and uh, as she's kind of climbing up, you know, and she gets up there to the trapeze area. Now the tightrope has been dropped now, um, but there's nobody on the other side. So she chalks up her hands, she takes her sw- part of the swing, and uh, with the drum roll, she starts going out, you know, one, two, and then right before it's three, from above, a large red in the color of the circus theme, um, silk, almost not rope, but scarf, <laughs> uh, really thick, comes tumbling out of the ceilings from the rafters up above. And she lands and catches that silk rope, very circ, you know. And then the band goes quiet, but she's made an organ. She's arranged this with the via- uh, violinist, and he starts doing like really soulful minor key drawn out stuff. And she's on her red silk rope, and she's like um, tying her feet around and sort of like um, le- leaning out and doing a bunch of spins rapping, rapidly spinning around really fast and the violin spins you know and she does a whole bunch of sort of in-air gymnastics using the the silk and then at the very end um, she tumbles backwards from the sort of two-thirds of the way up um, sort of like letting go and using her feet and catching herself all the way down landing and sticking the landing hopefully all right, uh, roll performance and add your decks. Okay. Oh, well done. Okay, plus uh, an extra four. Yep. So, All and right. she takes her so. applause and prances off stage and says, Thanks, y'all. Don't forget the nimble foots. <laughs> and everybody's like, Oh. <laughs> Huge uh, people at this at this point, they are just they've never seen a show like this. They are slamming, they're encoring, everybody is just amazed at everything. Um, the music swells as everyone leaves, and you know, people are just shouting and shouting. Eventually, they decide, you know, this is the show has ended. Um, probably some clowns come out and they kind of help everybody to leave, you know, but kind of like playing around and, and doing their, uh, antics, but also like, okay, get, (laughs) but here's a, here's a somersault now, shoo, you know, and eventually everybody, uh, gets out and gets home. And you guys have had a very successful, uh, last night and as everybody uh turns away to start to just leave the whole area just huge fireworks resound over the entire uh grounds and there's just a lot of ooh oh, ooh you know for a good half hour as people just watch all the gorgeous fireworks Folks still don't understand why all these soft skins find find fireworks so intimate and so fascinating. 
Mm. While Val- Viani was rapidly taking off her makeup, she would be peeking out of her tent to watch the fireworks show. Like she does every night. They do it. All right, I have to quickly do some math. Because what is going to happen is, uh, you know, we uh, will average everything and see how how well we did. When I say I'm going to do math, what I mean is I'm going to pull up the calculator. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, I faded out the circus music as the fireworks show started. So okay. I-, I can actually turn that off. Yeah, then so... I can turn it back up. So when you turn it back on, I can have it ready. Cool. Okay. And hang on. There, it's gone. Give me a second. No worries. Oh, by the way, Aviani will be changing into the overalls and t-shirt that she wore the last time they had to do a paint job on the circus because she figures that's basically the worst thing she has to wear, so. She's just going to come out in painted, paint-stained overalls in, like, a tee. And Marble has a pair of black joggers that she puts on over her uh, leotard, and she has a jacket that she puts on, too, when she's not performing. Your camera is off for some reason, by the way. Just FYI, Pasta. That's because she's on... Um... She's on mine, yeah. She's with me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi. I see now. <laughs> right. I just I just unmute on my computer when I want to talk. You can just use that just one sit here and poke him. Yeah. <laughs> you him just unmute. use one. Yeah, it works. Actually, the volume is better on that one than your other oh, one. Okay, it's just uh, FYI. <laughs> You're moving closer to the mic necessarily. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So, with everybody doing uh, as well as they did, the average uh, is a 20. Um, So, yeah, it's an extremely successful evening. And how it is, you know, the money gets kind of all put together uh, and um, counted up, separated, and then a certain... A uh, portion of it goes to the circus, and by the time everybody else is done, you guys have all made like a hundred gold a piece. So, because of how well you did, woo! Yay! Yeah! Yay. All right, metal discs. <laughs> yes, you're given a hundred golden yellow discs. <laughs> Stuff I like the money. other discs. Yeah, yeah. Callio's giving giving out the money and going, yeah, I know, man. I know. (laughs) All right. Is there anything else people want to do before getting themselves together to go out later on? I I would probably change out of my, uh, like, performance clothes and just into my regular clothes clothing. Mm -hmm. And also go get a, um, uh, I'm bringing the hammer with me and also probably uh, having a couple of daggers in my, uh, hat. yeah, the uh, like tooling up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody tool up. <laughs> uh, Eldon does get his like commoner clothes on, but he still looks way more fabulous than he should in commoner's clothes. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, no, like, as Eldon's just like you know, probably like getting ready, probably waiting, whatever it would be. Um, you see a, you know, large, probably a bit past this time, you know, dude, just walk towards you. You kind of get the impression that this might, you know, you you kind of probably are in the know that this is the ringleader in his guise. And he walks over to you with a great big smile on his face. And then he says with 
you know, no real push. Eldern, are we going? Think so. <sighs> okay. And um, very sluggishly, uh, you see uh, Happy Helk melt into a puddle of slime um, as he, as the ringleader, assumes they're true guys, and they are themselves. And they're going, "I'm tired, Eldon. It was very rough today." I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, what? Uh, you know, that, that thing you do where you get all okay. squishy, that never stops fascinating me. Uh, what do you mean? You know, like you, you change how you look. It's, uh, it's quite the skill you got there. Oh. It's just fascinating. Fascinating to watch. I'd, one of these days, I'd like to, you know, do more research on, on that kind of ability, but not today. The ringleader is just staring at you, dead in the face. Just, no, doesn't get it. Like, um, you know, no thoughts, head empty. Well, yes, but uh, you, 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 so you had a, a hard day. Very tired. Very tired. What did you have to do today? I had to be a ringleader. It's tiring. Mm, that it's is the hardest horror. job in the, it's the hardest job in the circus. Uh, I, you know, have you looked at walks that, that, that man like carries things around? Sounds like a lot of work. Oh, you, I guess you turn into like stuff and help out too. So I always help out. Yeah. Yeah. That is a lot of work. Yeah. Well, you know, remember if you want, if you want things carried around, just ask Wish. You can take a break for a while. She'll carry things for you. No, I've got to be good. Ringleaders have got to be good. This is how it's good. You you are you are a very good ringleader. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. You are a fine and valued part of this community. I I, I appreciate it. Good. Yeah, Eldern. You, yeah. Why is Wish a robot? Um, because I built her. Are Elbots built? Yeah, constructs. Uh, so I, I made her. I put her together, and that's that's what she is. Oh. Uh, most robots are kind of squishy. They look a lot like you. I don't know. It's a bit mm. different. The enemy goes different. past the two of them, and it's like, are you you're heading over to the campfire? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Let's walk together. I, I like this plan. <laughs> All right. Does anyone else at the campfire when we get the three of us arrive? I, I'm probably going to be there. It doesn't take, take that long for me to change. <laughs> okay. Yep, you're just staring into the fire. Arbel is definitely going to be there. Okay. No, I'm not looking at the fire. I'm looking at the direction you would be coming from. Are we waiting for Zill again? Vandy I'm waiting for you all to be there. <laughs> yeah, we're all there. Except for you. Out, he would be the last one. Oh, all right. busy hawking off a few pastries, using up the last. Of, well, yeah, the last of his pastry, and then wrapping up some of us for the journey. So he just turn up with an armful of wrapped up pastries. And Good. find Luzil. Yes, and then once I've seen that there is everyone at the campfire, I will appear. <laughs> right. Um, do we know where we're going? Yes. All right. The sewers. Uh, mm. Calio comes up to you and says, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know a guy. Um, he's going to take you down. Uh, down into the sewers you mean yeah because the sewers are big you know there's a specific problem place uh no wait uh, a specific place where there's a problem so 
you know, you don't want to just go into the sewers and start looking around. You uh, want to be able to know where you're going, right? You could say it's yes. a problem area. You could at that. Well, let's you go on the problem. That is what he that is what he said. Yes. <laughs> He gives you a, like a little pet on your head, Marble. It's like, you're my favorite. You know it. You're my favorite. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so he passes you off to um, a guy who is clearly intimidated by the whole lot of you. He's an older working, um, sorry, an older working person. It's like, yep, okay, so uh, I can take you guys. Whew. Yeah, I saw the show. You guys are something, huh? That was awesome. I, I never saw anything like that before. It doesn't surprise Thank me. Thank you. Yeah, Yanni smiles <laughs> and does a little curtsy. Yeah, oh, I, I, I've heard of your your family too, the Nimblefoots. Yeah, they're so famous. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet to say. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so he he rambles about you know how his kids loved it, and you know, um, even though they're getting a little older now, it's still such so great to come and be able to see the circus and da 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 da. da just, um, but he takes you down into a first into the main area of the sewers and then he sort of takes you uh down to several different you know, corridors and caverns um until you're finally by a place with a big locked door and some stuff in front of it like just hastily put stuff so it's not only just locked but like somebody dragged over some desks and some stuff and you know, he helps kind of clears it away. And he says, well, I can stay out here, but uh, see what happened was there was some kind of cave-in, I think. There was some sort of structural issue. And after that, we had all these uh, bugs and stuff. And um, yeah, uh, so I, I don't want to go in, but I can give you guys a key. And I'll wait here. Sounds good. I take the key and unlock the door. Um, do you, before we go into this, uh, do you guys want to take our break now? Or we could. Yeah. yeah. I'm down for it. No, yeah, no, that makes sense. All right. So that would be a 20 minute break which my incredible math skill says that would be... In 20 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes. 5.50, yeah. Yes. 5.50. At something 50. Yes. 50 for Central, 6.50 for Eastern. I don't know the rest of the world. Yes. Because America is the only one that matters. <laughs> 10 minutes to midnight. And we're the ones you measure your time from. 10 to the hour. Yes. 10 to the hour. That is that is good way to say that. Yes. Really? Right. <laughs> right. yes. yes. We will be back soon. All right. Welcome back to part two of episode one of Cirque du Sang Sauvage. And uh, we'll take it back over to the dungeon master. All right. Hello. And yeah. So when last we lost, uh, uh, sorry, when last we left our heroes, they were unlocking a door to a lovely sewer. Um, so is, uh, everybody just like gonna be okay with Walks just reaching over, unlocking the door? Better him than me. <laughs> you can regrow your arms, right, Walks? Like, that's a thing you can do? <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. Um, good luck, I guess. All right. You I'll cover your rear should be seeing uh if you go to the top left sorry i'm good at telling yeah, my right I'm from my left it. yep i see all it. right there is a little area so you guys can um 
it's just a plain room. There are a couple of you know, things that look like there's something that looks like a drain right in the middle. Uh, there are there's like a bucket to one side and what just looks like a couple of modules or something. You don't really uh, unless somebody wants to go and investigate it. Um, you wouldn't really know just to look at it what they are, but yeah. Uh, so do you guys go in? Well, yeah. After what you. Order? Yeah, yeah. Agreed. I say, I say we send Welks in first. You can regrow your arms. Marble's going to start walking in. All right, you can put your... I thought that I don't know that I don't think there's a, a token as such associated with it. Oh, um. hmm. you didn't mute. Yeah. Yep. And the whole and, then, and the thing in the middle, this here is the drain. The drain, right? All right. Uh, do we have also something for wish? Is wish there? If Wish wants to get paid, Wish better be here. Oh, is that Wish? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, it's stretching damage, I think. <laughs> okay. So what do you do? Um, I'm going to say, Zill, you have really good dark vision. So you can see that there is... Um, this hallway kind of goes out probably 25, 30 feet before it's, um, there's another door. Um, let's see. And there's, uh, two closed doors right there and there at the bottom. Did we find out what the the glowing thing or the blue things are i was actually going to start looking at them modules mm -hmm. like i'm going to look at this one i'll i'll um wish and i will look at the, the bottom one okay um <laughs> so <sighs> you can roll just investigation but uh, ringleader, I'm gonna have you do it at disadvantage because I can't imagine that you, yeah. Ten. Ten. I rolled a crit plus five. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so, before you know it, you basically know how everything here uh, operates. You know that um, there are buttons that will release these two doors, just like a lock. You know that there's another button that's going to go from over here. You know that um, there are, well, you're just looking at this one, right? Yeah. So that's what you've got. You've got something with buttons. Um, ringleader, what you see is lights in there pretty. I don't trust the lights. Mm. But yeah, okay. Uh, hey, Wilkes, buddy, my friend, my compatriot. Yes. Um, so these buttons, these things you push, they open the doors. You should, um, you know, push them. Why don't you push them? He can regrow his legs. I, I cannot. <laughs> You're a lizard. I'm sure you can, right? That's like a lizard thing. I'll press it. Okay. <laughs> Marble will go and press it. <laughs> um, which button do you press? There's one that releases the this door and one that releases these doors. The door is with us. These right here. Yeah, but she's saying which doors on either side. Oh. Is there one button for each door? Three buttons? <laughs> no, there's uh, there is a uh, one button that is that you're pretty sure with your crit, 
probably opens this door and maybe even other doors. Mm -hmm. Um, I know which button. I'll press it. Okay, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. I'm gonna point to the button that opens the two doors in the room we're in. Okay, so this one. Yes. And this one. All yes. right. Mm -hmm. So you can now see. Hang on one second, and I will reveal areas. Um, what is everybody's dark vision? So, Elden, you probably can't see anything, but. Uh, I, I also don't have dark vision. Uh -huh. uh, ha, ha. I have my goggles of night, whatever. Okay. Yeah, I have so 120 feet. <laughs> I know who's going second. <laughs> um. So you see this. And if you look down, this is basically what you can see. Two, um, equally sized corridors all those bugs i see you definitely see at least on one you can see a like the legs of a gross looking bug big one i'm going to point it out this way um there's a there's a uh one of those things i'm almost certain Hmm. Oh. Can't see. Give me a second, and I'm going to um, assume a shape of my starry form. Uh, it's very long, but the long, long and the short of it is, is that my body becomes luminous, and um, the iron, the filings, the bits, the speckles that are in me become basically a form of maybe like bioluminescent or reflective. Um, hmm. I shed a bright light in a 10 foot radius and a dim light for an additional 10 feet. And it basically hmm. counts as my, uh, as one of my wild shapes. I'm going to stand hmm. by him because I can't see in the dark. Them. Them. Sorry. Might thank you. Them. Um, and um. for the thing of it and for the thing of it, it says whenever I assume it, I have to, uh, I have to um, have a shape. I have to. I have to choose a constellation, and I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm going to go with an archer. So, um, is in a kind of like oblong way. There is going to be like some kind of weird confluence amongst the speckles in me um, that take the shape of um like an arrow but in a very very rudimentary way so it's not like designed you know with multiple with more than like two lines at most yeah i'm i'm gonna go to the um to the front of this uh to the door mm -hmm. and like lean down and flick my tongue out and see what i can um smell Okay. Well, um, taste, smell, I don't know what the word is. Uh, roll perception. 19. Okay. Um, so, and you're doing this at least partly with smell? I'm doing it. I'm using my St. Jacob's organ. The, the thing that lizards and snakes can do. Mm -hmm. Um. And I, um, I don't have dark vision, so I'm relying on my other senses, basically. It's, um, you smell something, first you smell like a meat smell, an insect smell. Um, from back when you were a hunter, you remember what that smells like. But you also smell, um, something like almost acidic, almost corrosive on top of it. Hmm. I think I think you're right that these are the bugs we're look bugs we're looking for. They're certainly bug like. And then they smell the part. Well then go on. 
Yeah, you can regrow your limbs. You're fine. Marvel's cannot... gonna start heading in. He can't regrow his limbs. I can't, and I also can't see in there. Like, oh, okay. I can help you with that here. Um, see, I can see. I'll just go in there. Well, here, let me, let me, you know, Walks, Walks is, I'm, I'm sorry, you're so uh, uh, unable to see here. And I take out a little, little jar that glows like as if there was like little fireflies inside of it. And I give it to him. And there you go. You have a, you have yourself a candle, magic candle. Have fun. I guess, yep. I, I, For some reason, the, the thing didn't line up properly. So just don't worry about that. Just. <laughs> <laughs> We'll assume you're properly in. You're not in the okay. wall. You're in the. Thing. You're yeah. in the hall. Um, if you hold Alt, the Alt key, while you move yeah. your character, your token around, you can oh, place yeah. yourselves outside of grid. So mm -hmm. you could do that. I'm too lazy. There we go. I mean, okay. Right. I guess. I guess we're just going in. And yeah, so you guys can roll in. Well, no, we don't roll initiative. No, I'm sorry. Uh, so we need. We can just go into our initiative, and I do want to reveal what you're going to see for those who can see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Oh, and... there's a nice bugs, and I walked into both of them. Yes, you sure yeah. did. Yeah, um, and... They turn around and hiss at you, and their their antennae are just like twitching at you. Are you wearing anything metal, or do you have anything metal on you? By the way, that's the spearhead. Other than that, no. Well, spearhead, the buckles, the harness. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. okay. So, pulling up the turn order, Viani, you go first. <laughs> All right. Well, I am gonna just hold my action and use my movement to, when the people in front of me move, to follow close behind. Okay, marble. Oh, you know what? Um, I can. Sorry, I can move through people. I'm sorry, I forgot. I'm a halfling, mm -hmm. so I can move through people. So she can actually move up to uh, three, four, five, and get to the there. So that's what she's going to do instead, because I forgot that she's smaller. Okay, now I'm really done. I promise. <laughs> okay. So, if we, uh... Okay, I'm going to move forward right here. Okay. And I am going to cast. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt on okay. this guy. I'm going to okay. like reach over and go poof. Alrighty, and that is, hang on, 20. 20 will definitely hit. Okay. And 22 radiant, oh my goodness. My god. Yes. Wow. I did go Love Here's a spell. <laughs> That's a lot. That is a lot, and I'm trying to figure out why it is not letting me get into... No, hang on. I'm having some trouble. Some technical difficulties over happening. there. It won't let me uh, get that, but I think. Do you want to just check the layers you're on? What layer you're on? I, what I, layers? Okay. I've cycled through the layers oh, okay. like twice, so oh, okay. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, you get you hit it solidly, um, and it looks bad. You hear oh! and. <laughs> and the creature after me before the end of my next turn has advantage, I believe. I posted this spell. Yeah. Okay. You just confirm which one it was. It was the one in the corner. Right here. This one. Yep. Cool. What what the uh, when when do the bucks go? What's their initiative? <laughs> 
Uh, you'll find out. <laughs> okay. All righty. Um, so, Samarity. I guess we're attacking this one. Okay. To start off with, even though it's probably a bad idea. Wow. All right. Even with advantage. <laughs> even with um, advantage. Uh, and yeah, that's not going to hit it. I'm just trying to figure out. Okay. So you miss it. You'd like try to grab it and it just, you know, away from you a little bit. All right. And so and the glow disappears. The glow disappears. Yeah. Yes, because I failed. It's, it's the yeah. advantage. Ah. The next attack. Yeah. Oh, I I know what you mean. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Yes. The glow kind of sputters out. Um, Zill. Uh, unless there's is there anything else you're doing to Meredy? Uh, yeah, I'll spend a key and make two more attacks against him with the unarmed. Try and finish, try and get him down. Does a 10 hit? No. Wow, I'm doing bad. That one hit. No, oh, no, uh, I take that back. Okay. That one does not hit. Sorry. Wow. Yeah, you just... Whoosh, whoosh, just whiff. Well, yeah, that's a bad start. Okay. All right. Zill. So, can I see the one that was hit already from over here? Um, well, you've got a lot of people in your way. So, I'm going to need you to make a perception check. Perception check. 14. Yeah, you see mostly people's heads. Well, okay. Uh, not seeing how I could get through a small hallway with everyone, so um, I will. You know what? I will reserve my action to cast Toll of the Dead if anything comes out of the other door. Just in case. Mm -hmm. And that'll be my own. Okay. Uh, ringleader. I'm going to hold my action um, to see if I'm going to be needed. So the th so the trigger is going to be if anybody gives a call for me. Um, like down this way, I will use my action to move down and attack anybody. You can't who I hold see. movement. Oh, can I not? Okay. No. Uh, well, in that case, I will have to. Hmm. I will hold action and use my Archer Constellation ability on any creature that I see in my range before my next turn. Okay. And my range is 60 feet, so. All right. Uh, will you need a clean shot, like a clean view of him? Of uh, that not, necess not necessarily. Like, I'll just take the shot, whatever it is. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so, Elden. Muted, muted. Just help me with this. This is like your one job. Um, so, I will tap uh, Vianney on her shoulder and, and just be like, you might want to cover your ears. Um, take Veronica out. That's the name of the sixth shooter. 
Uh, and it looks a little different from the last time that you saw it at the show. It has like an extra bit of metal and wires sticking out of where the the you load the bullets into the cylinder, whatever it's called, uh, and takes a shot at the sky at the very bottom, the one that's for this way. And that's not the clicky bit. There we go. One at the very bottom. Okay. Single shot at him with a. 13 plus 6, 19. Um, yeah, 19 hits. 19 hits, so he will take a whole... Oh, wrong dice. Uh, 12 points of damage. Okay. From that. And then I'm going to tell Yell at Wish to... Um, just get ready, just like get closer. So she'll move there. She's stuck behind everyone else, too. Okay. Um, how did I do this? Wolks, it is your turn. Okay. How, how, uh, how much, um, headroom is there above? Uh, um, there's, it's probably like an eight foot ceiling. Okay, that's enough. I will, um, I will move. Um, I'll move here uh, using my climbing speed to like, like basically get over people. Like climbing mm, on the wall. Roll in acrobatics. Oh, okay. Real quick. Uh, just for yeah. you know, I got excited and accidentally actually rolled initiative, so that's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, not twenty. Okay. Uh, yeah, you get over there, no problem. Cool. Um, I will attack. Uh, I will do a bite attack on this one. Okay. That hits, uh, and it does poison damage. It does seven. It does seven piercing damage, and then it has to use the a roll a Constitution a saving throw to see if it takes the poison damage. Okay. Let me do that. I don't know what its con is. <laughs> Seven, yeah, no, it's not gonna make it. I'm assuming. Okay, no, oh, it's okay. it's a DC eleven. Uh, it takes so it takes a national free poison damage. So it's the one in front of you. It's the one, this one, the one that was. Uh... Oh, that one. Yeah, yes. that one. You can describe its death then. You just see Volks like vault over people and climb on the wall and just. Like to it, I just appear out of nowhere and just sink my teeth into into it, and it. it you, you can see the poison hurts a lot. Like, it, this is painful as fuck, and it like slumps over. And then I turn around, and I would like to use my bonus action to do a hungry jaws attack on the other one. Okay. So that's another bite. Uh, I'm a no. Two, nine. Yeah. Cool. You snap out at the other one, but it dodges you. Uh, now, yeah, were you wear sense. were you wearing any metal? I don't think mm, so, right? Nope. Okay. I don't have the the hammers that's on my back is uh, made of wood, and I just have. I mean, there might be a couple of like buck like buckle metal buckles or buttons. That's it. Okay, so all right, now it's their turn, and I will put them in at one. Well, it's it's turn now. Only one. Yeah. So Rusty here. Rusty the Rust Monster is at one. All right, so he is going to attempt. I, I don't think it can do much but go after you, but actually it's going to, like, skitter around 
and it's going to try to go at the thing that smells of yummy metal. And you don't smell like yummy metal at all. So you are no good to hit. Um, and it's going to try to bite you. All right. Um, let's see. 10, I guess 10 doesn't and hit you. Hit. Okay. Um, in 10, a little odd. So you can see within five feet of it. The object the touch destroys. All right, so you need to make a DC 11 deck saving throw. Oh, okay. Yep, you, it, uh, its little antenna lunges out for your spear tip and you just take it away and it attempts to bite you. Now, however, um, All right, it can get over to here. So uh, people who were holding actions can now attempt to unhold their actions. So first that would be Zill. Uh, Jess? There, sorry, I was trying to no problem. press the button, it wouldn't work. Um, still sitting in the back can i see them i can't see them i'm standing here wait there's one here one of them yeah one of them yeah. okay sorry All right. one of them skittered up so you can uh oh, it's a the, save right to do yeah it's a wisdom save dc 14. okay let's see mm, nope Okay, and it's not been damaged, right? Nope. Okay, so then it takes one radiant damage. Okay. Well, that didn't go as well. Right. And uh, Ringleader, you have something to do to it, I think? Yes, I am using my archer line at it. Oop. Uh, yep, that hits. Okay, and doop. Four. Okay. Four radiant damage is dealt to it. All right. And it had to dash to get here, so it can't do anything else. Um, so that is that. Hmm. See what happens next time. Uh, Biani. Yes. Quick question, what's the minimum distance I have to be to shoot a short bow? Is it 10 feet? Uh, it's a lot more. Is it a lot more? Well, no, if, no. I think you do it with this advantage if you're closer than, oh, than if it's if five feet. Range, if yeah, you're in if, melee, I believe. Um, yeah, so feet. you can do it from 10 feet, yes. All right, and the one that's in the corner is dead? Yes. Okay. This is the only one that's left. All right, so Vianney would move up and go into this back corner and then aim for the one over here with her short okay. bow. All right. Let me just pull that up now that she's moved. And uh, is there an enemy within five feet? Or an ally within? Yes. There is. Okay, so... Uh, but you can't get sneak attack. Can you get sneak attack on a ranged attack? Uh, what what kind of? It's a short bow, yeah. So it's what kind of rogue are you? I am a soul knife rogue, but just right now level two rogue. Oh yeah. Um, I don't. Let me yes, double check. It's, fit, it's fitness, fitness, and ranged weapons. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, you do get the sneak attack. Come on. Okay. I've played with Perry enough. I can't remember every single weapon. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm not that good yet. I'm still remembering my uh, basic healing potions. Uh, what you roll? Oh, I think that's probably oh, going to yeah. hit. That is. And you can describe its terrible death. All right, so after whatever just happened to it happened, 
Viani sneaks into the room and presses herself against the wall. Not too close because it might slimy, so she's going to rethink that and maybe get close. Um, but draw her bow and fire for its maw, its antennae, which are trying to reach for her party member and lets the arrow fly and it goes home and true and the thing just suddenly jerks and then loses all kind of life and f slumps to the floor. Uh, yep. Now you have two iron smelling, kind of like sulfury smelling buggos, both dead and bleeding out on this little room floor. All right. That's my turn over. And marble. So they're all dead. Oh yeah, I know, I see it. Okay, so Marble is going to be, he's going to go up, scoot past Eldon, and scoot between these two, and cast Sacred Flame on this guy. Uh, I just want you to roll a quick acrobatics first. Okay, Duke. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. It has to make a deck save. And... Fails. It fails. It's been failing every save. <laughs> Seems unfair. So that's two radiant damage? Yep. Hey, guys are whittling this down. Merity. Oh, T is going to now look around. I realize that he's not near one that's still alive and make his way back up the tunnel. But he's not going to push it because there's a crowd at the other end. That's a hold action just in case something really weird happens. Zill. Oh, sorry. What, what were you holding your no, action just saying, to do? Just holding a melee attack. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, Zill will, uh, you know, I'm thinking of moving away from it, but well, maybe not. I, I will use, uh, I will try to reach out and touch it with a touch attack. Uh, let me get my roll here. I guess I'll use the dagger. Oh, here you go. 23. All right. So that definitely hits. All right. I unleash a um, salvo of a necronic energy into the, uh, the uh, creature's antenna as it touches me. Mm -hmm. And I will do 14 necronic. All right. Uh, so from now on, that dagger has a minus one penalty to damage rolls. What dagger? You said you were going to use a dagger? No, I touched it with my hand. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, so 14. Let me see. What does that do to it? It is looking pretty bad. Mm, good. And that'll be my action. My turn, rather. All right, ringleader. Ringleader has found prey. Lovely, lovely prey. And ringleader is going to um, beat the ever-loving shit out of such prey while leads decides to screaming loud noises. Um, I'm going to use Guiding Bolt on this thing. It's one okay. of my two innate, uh, innate uh, spells. Uh, okay. So I'm going to use it. I hate myself so much. Nope. Oh. I don't uh. like this. <laughs> okay. All right. It will also um, have been the disadvantage because you're standing right next to it. Okay. 
Yeah. So. Yeah. So lovely. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna use it as an example, as an opportunity to slide around it. Do that. And yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Um, and Elden. Uh, okay, I'm going to tell Wish to get on over there and help out. Um, she'll do her thing with my bonus action, and I will come out and chill here. And so I'll take my attack, and then Wish will take hers. Oh, with 21 for me? Yeah, that'll hit. And, oh, Wish only got an 11, which I'm okay. assuming doesn't hit. No. So I do 13 points of bullet damage to That's the... That's all right. You kill it. All you right. Describe its death. Um, Elden holsters his gun and looks at him. Looks at the, looks at the rust monster. Um, just had to have like a good old Mexican stand down, just staring at each other. Uh, even though it doesn't have a gun, it doesn't care. Um, pulls out the gun, shoots its head off, and then holsters it back in. And just one quick, one quick, whoosh, poof, back. It's a uh, little antennae just go in two different directions as you split its skull. It's exo skull, <gasps> and it just has like a little ridge now. And the bullet that has pierced it kind of sizzles and corrodes. And it, um, so you can now, somebody can roll me a perception. Probably with someone that has dark vision. <laughs> I can do Yeah. Marvel's on it. I should say somebody in this room should be. Oh, down room. there. Well, so you have a candle. <clears throat> I am a light, so I will see about seeing. Boop. Well, well, you're not in that room, are you? No, it's this room that was pointed out, wasn't it? Yeah, oh. it is. I'm yep. sorry. Yeah. And this is oh. not a seeing thing. You don't see anything, but you're hearing something now. And it's right now, it's still pretty distant, but it is... Banging, clanging, clacking. Oh. I kind of like, um, I start rippling, and then I say to Elden and uh, Marble. I think there's someone coming. And yeah, that, that's that's all I relay. Okay. All right, we're gonna put you out of turn order for now. I'm gonna pop it up again if we need to. What you gonna do? I'll I'll definitely head back to the um to the main room. Actually, no, I'm going to have a look in this room first. Okay. What you looking for? Just anything. Is there anything that seems like um, like it's more than just it's a room? Like, is there any like anything that seems out of place? Uh, you can roll perception or investigation, whichever you're better at. Mm -hmm. I mean, you haven't really been in a lot of sewers before. That's true. Um, so it's hard for you to know. Uh, but there's nothing that's like staring out at you. I mean, uh, honestly, that drain is a little clogged and it's kind of smelling putrid. Yeah. Well, I take that quick glance. A, like come to the conclusion that eh, there's probably not much to do in here um and then i will head back 
Viani will look around to see if she can identify, given the size of the creatures, like how they got into this room. Is Are there cracks? Are there holes in the floor? And the ceiling? Anything like that? Uh, you can... You can roll perception unless you're going to, like, actually touch and feel around. Oh, I guess I'll just look, give it a once over. Uh, there does appear to be up close to the ceiling, like a hole. Mm -hmm. Um, and is if you like, you're kind of short anyway, but if you look in, you're not really going to see much because you yeah. don't have to get dark, dark quick. Vision. Correct. Yeah. All right. Well, as I walk back, I'll look, I'll keep a lookout for the similar holes in the walls or the floors or the ceilings, including in the, the main room when I get back there. Uh, when you get that back to the main room specifically, and, you know, I'm a, uh, you've had this noise pointed out to you, but there is nothing in this room. This first room that you guys came into looks pretty stable and in fact doesn't look like anybody anybody any um prior to you opening the doors like the rust monsters were able to get in so what you gonna do walks why don't you uh check out the next room <laughs> <laughs> Now sure. I'm just going to start going down the narrow room. Just let him do it. He's, he can regrow his limbs. It's fine. I can do it. You can I regrow can your go. limbs? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why do you do? Then let him do it. He can't do it either. He's a lizard. Do you have he a... He can't his limbs and he that. can't see in the dark. Well, you can't have, see in the dark either? I can either. see in the dark. I can oh. see in the dark. Just you have a me. candle. I have, I gave I have the... Candle. Yeah, I have the, um, the thing you gave me. Yeah, you have my magic. You have my magic candle. You'll be fine. I believe in you. <laughs> big strong, take... big strong man like lizard man like you. You can do it. <laughs> I, I have stopped listening after him. He <laughs> I will to go follow in. right behind Walt. All right. So you guys get down a, a little further to where you can see. <laughs> I'm assuming. Uh, yes. I'm going to need a perception check from you, Volks. Okay. If it's dark in here, I don't think the thing is going to light. <laughs> no, it, it's like five feet in front of you. Like, it's a camera. Yeah, no. <laughs> right. should, I'm probably pretty blind. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, you are completely blind, so you kind of walk in. You kind of can tell that you're in a big room and as you sort of walk in uh does anybody and anybody else is following you so why right don't you behind walls. yeah why don't you make a perception check too you can see so nope nope i can't so... see past him <laughs> Uh, so a couple of, you walk in, you see that there is like one of these rust monsters and you're like, oh, another one of these stupid things. And you're not looking up. And oh, so no. what happens is, hang on, hopefully you then see these things come flopping down and they're going to get um, a couple of attacks on you two. They're pretty much the only one that they can hit. But, so they're going to come over. So one, come on, you ah. Sorry, I'm still working on all this tokens and stuff. So this guy with a bang and a clang. He's going to come over and try to hit you twice. I'm assuming you mean me? Yeah, walks. 
Is it walks or walks? Walks. Walks. All right. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, so does the twenty first one first one misses so second one hits all right so it reaches out with its little hooks there um and just wishes right out of your way um and so then the next one hits come on for 11 piercing damage okay okay and then this guy's gonna come over and attack zill do twice. i get any cover for this cover yeah. um yeah maybe partial I, at least a little maybe yeah all right all right all right that'll help I'll give you <laughs> um, this partial cover. That's a plus three to your plus, AC. Please plus two. I don't plus remember. two, I think. All right. Yeah. First one, I dodged. Wait, no, no, wait. Which which ones are the attacks? Oh, it's an eleven and a nine. It did terrible. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I hit the wall. Yeah, so it's trying to like crabbel against uh, around the corner to get at you, and it's it's making these awful banging <laughs> noises and just like hooking with its little claws. But well, it's huge claws; it's big. Uh, but it does not get to you. And now we are going back into. Uh, order and we're gonna go to the top of the order again viani well uh they're far away what? um so let i actually think it's better if we beat a retreat and fight them where we can surround them better so she's going to yell i mean she can hear a kerfuffle oh she can't really see though she can see like people in the hallway right that's about it mm -hmm. um it sounds Sounds Nasty pretty bad. bad. Um, she's going to yell out, retreat back to us, we can help you. And then she's going to hold her, sh she's going to move to the other side of the room. And she's going to ho draw her short bow and hope that they listen to her. Um, and ready, firing at the first baddie that walks through that door. All That'll right. be your turn. Marble, do you listen? I do. Yes, I do. I listen. So you're going to follow directions? <laughs> okay, so what did you say? <laughs> Marvel was listening. I was. <laughs> Fall back into the world. <laughs> Okay, so are you going to go back into the room? Oh, back to the room where I came from? Yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> so you're not going to listen. No, she's not going to listen. <laughs> I am just going to point out. I am just going to point out that it was R and D provoking pasta yeah, that made her contrarian. Um, she's going to <laughs> scoot past um, the ringleader and. Uh, Zill and peek around the corner and cast Guiding Bolt. All right, I am going to want an acrobatics. acrobatics. Yes. Yeah, you do it. You'll have to be within five feet, so it will be a disadvantage, but you can do it. Okay. Yeah, you hit it anyway. Yeah. Ooh. And then she's just gonna go go back to where she was standing. All right, it will get an attack of opportunity on you if you go back again. Cool. Um, so it will do that. I will accept that. All right. 
It's a lot of sheets around here, I gotta tell you. That's a lot of shit. 14. Yes. Still just clobbering out. Can't really get purchase around that damn corner. All right. Um, this brings us to Temerity. Suppose T is going to say it again. Fall back and we can help you better. I'm moving to this spot and hold for the attack. Okay. Uh, Zil. Well, it looks like you've got this. I'll be back there, as they said. Fall back. You know, just make sure you. All right, and then I, I, I'm going to disengage and try to get past all these people. Uh, yeah, just um, an acrobatics. Okay, an acrobatics. Acrobatics. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I love that stuff. <laughs> um, you try, but you kind of uh. You end up slipping on. You, know, well, you get out of my way, Jello. <laughs> and I'll say that you can land over here, but you're kind of now you're prone. Okay. All right. And let's see. That brings us to the ringleader. Somebody just stepped on you and then fell and tripped over marble. Lace, you're muted. I apologize. No uh, I want to make sure that they're okay, but once I have done so, um, I'm going to turn around and cast Enhance Ability on the Great Ineffable uh box Boop. and what are you enhancing well you got it there uh, it's touch mm -hmm. so i am going to incur an opportunity attack from doing this um i'm going to go over to here and i'm going to use bear's endurance upon him upon vox mm -hmm. um you have advantage on constitution checks and you gain 2d6 um, temporary hit points. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you want to roll them, or should I? Uh, I'll do them real quick. Yeah. Seven. There you go. Thank you. Um, and there you go. I, I used... I'm just going to count it. And actually, I do not... I incur a hope duty tab. I don't think I'm going to get one. You do not actually, because this guy yeah. already used his reaction. So. Yes, the power of knowing the rules in a marginally useful. <laughs> way. Um, yeah. So, in any case, you have yourself uh, seven temporary hit points and constitution uh, advantage. Advantage on constitution. Okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm going to move over to here. And that's my turn. Okay. So uh, that gives us Elden. I'm going to tell Wish to move her way down to protect uh, Walks. Just be like, hey, keep an eye on him. I don't think he can actually regrow his limbs, uh, but he might believe me. So. All right. She's going to have to make some kind of acrobatics check. Ooh. Is she even good at that? Who knows? Let's find out. Um, clunk, clunk. Adventure together. How good are you at acrobatics? Eh, you got a plus one. Oh. 19. Yeah, so poor Zill, who is lying on his butt, ha now has a, a robot just clomp, 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 clomp. Uh, marble dodges out of the way, and she makes it. All right. So she is going, well, she'll use her reaction app give disadvantage to the first attack against Welks. Um, and Eldon's going to go, st I'm going to go stand at the entrance of the hallway and shoot at the guy at the bottom of the hallway. All right. He's going to be behind some cover as well because okay. there's four people in. Yeah. Everyone duck. 
And so. ooh, oh yeah, with a with an eleven, I'm sure I don't hit that. Nope. Oh, so you take a chunk out of the wall. I told you all the duck. You're in the way. <laughs> and that's all, right. all I got. All right, Wolks, you've got a robot behind you, and um, two hook horrors in front. I I would like to make. I mean, they're pretty big. They take up a lot of space. I would like. Mm -hmm. to, can I make a roll to like see if, like, how likely it is that they would actually be able to fit through the tunnel and get out into the room? Mm, okay. Yeah. Um. You can make an intelligence or a nature check. Hmm. Twenty-one. Um, okay, so you've you've kind of you're looking at them and they are big, but these things were also like hooked somehow to the ceiling and they seem very good at um clambering around, if that makes sense. So you what you think is that it would they probably couldn't make it through very quickly but they might be able to get through um sort of pulling themselves through if they had to okay uh i'm gonna i'm gonna use my bonus action to do a hungry jaws attack on uh um the one in front of me mm-hmm Uh, it's a con save. No, it's that's for the poison. Um, it's an eleven. So that misses. Eleven doesn't hit. Okay, then I'm gonna use my action to um to move back here. I'm, uh, I'm actually to disengage and then move back there. Okay. Uh, I'm just. I'll need a quick acrobatics check. Yeah. 16. Yeah, you're fine. You kind of have to climb over, her, but you can do that. So it's robot. I don't care. <laughs> All right. So Rusty uh, is going to smell the robot, but can't get to the robot. So it's going crazy, just hissing. Like, oh, I want a robot. Um, and now the horrors. So this guy is going to come in and he is going to try to attack. It's the wrong person. Going to try to attack the robot. Mm -hmm. You just, you oh, <laughs> that was the wrong thing. <laughs> Since he's right there, nope. Yes. Nope. Wow. All right. It can't seem to get at her, so it's gonna back up and and just sort of scoot away. Does that mean she gets an attack of opportunity? Sure. All right. Go wish. Wish reaches out her hand to try to grab it and fails miserably at it. All right, but this guy is going to come in. Um, and it's going to do the same thing. 22. Yep. Nope. Yeah. All right. So that is going to be 14 piercing damage. And then he's going to also skitter back. And that is that. All right. And now it's you guys' turn. So, Vianney. Yes. Um, 
All right. Uh, she doesn't really know what's going on. There are many people in the way, but some are coming back out of the tunnel. So she figures that they're, you know, just moving backwards and uh, either they'll regroup or it'll come through and then they'll all gang up on it. So she's going to continue to hold her ranged attack at the first thing that doesn't look like a friend. And that'll be it. All right. Marble. Okay, I am going to cast Cure Wounds on Wolks. She's going to reach over and touch his shoulder and be like, be healed, I guess. <laughs> That's how much he gets. Thank you. All right. Anything else? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To Merity. And this door is still closed, isn't it? Uh, here is where it's closed. You could go down the... Uh, uh, in that case, Timothy's going to just start wandering in that sort of direction. Doesn't seem to be many people actually listening, so he's going to see if he can flank him. Okay. Uh, do you have dark vision? Yes, she's okay. 60 feet. All right, yeah. So you can see uh, you just come to here, and that is a locked door. A closed door, rather. Just so you know, I stepped into a black rectangle, so mm -hmm. I can't see. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Ah, corridor. Okay, put myself at 30 feet and hold action to attack in case something comes bounding through the door at me for some reason. Okay. Um, Zill. Well, I'm going to stand up first. Uh, can I? Can I see? I can't see past them. Of course not. Uh, I, I'm just going to move out of here. Five. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. I go here. And that's my turn. Okay. Um, Elden. All right, I'm gonna. So everyone's slowly retreating. So uh, I'll keep Wish there to just defend the. You know what? Sh no, no, she'll be fine. She'll just hold hold her thing. Um, I will tell Wish to make sure that she doesn't fall apart. So she is gonna repair herself for twelve points of repair. Whatever. So she is looking a little bit better. Um, and Elden is, I'm going to uh, just scoop back so that people can walk on by. But I can, uh, if anything enters, gets in front of Wish, uh, I'm going to hold my action to shoot it with Veronica. Okay. Uh, Wolks. Well, I will, I'll turn around and shout back into the room. They're not following us. And then I am gonna um, climb back over a wish. Uh, no, actually, no, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand where I am and hold my action um, just in case something gets within um, biting range. Okay. That's my turn. All right. Well, the rest monster is going to come over for sure, because boy, just does, does that thing, whatever it is, just smells so yummy. Where are you? Where is it? Uh, come on. Nope. Okay. Why can't I find you? Hmm. 
All right, there we go. Now I got it. All right, so it is going to attack. Do, do I get my, my held action first or? Yep. Okay. So as soon as the, the rust monster appears in front of Wish, take a shot with an 18. An 18 will hit, even with the cover. With the cover, nice. Oh, no. Takes four points of damage. That's sad. <laughs> it's a sad roll. All right. So it is going to... It's going to bite for 14. Does that hit? Nope. 15. You're aiming for 15. All right. Well, it's antennae come up anyway. It, and so Wish needs to make a DC 11 dexterity saving throw to avoid. 20. Woo. All right. He's a very flexible robot. He is. Those antennae come out and she's she has been told to protect herself. So. All right, that is them. What are these Hakoras going to do? They're good. You guys can't see them. So I'm not going to move them. I'm just going to keep in my mind what they are actually able to do. So, all right. Um. That will bring us back up to Viani. So people have started. They did not open the door, but they did start um, going down. Okay. Um, yes. So uh, did Temerity say something about seeing if she can, they could, they could uh, flank them, uh, and when they walked past the door? Did you say that out loud, Temerity? Didn't say it out loud. <laughs> She just died heading down the corridor. Okay. Uh, well, she's going to... Um, there's nothing coming out yet. Uh, so, yeah, she's going to... Uh, let's see if she can follow up. Why is my roll 20 being weird? I'm on the select move. Don't know. For some reason, it's being very strange for me. Having a hard time grabbing my icon. Okay, got her. Okay, one, two, three, four... Where was she? About here? And did you say that there's a... Oh, oh wait. I can't see anything. I have to stay yeah, by the light. See. I can't see, so I have to stay by the light. So I'm going to... I'm going to head back and still hold my action. I'll get a good position. Can't do it right now because stupid I, uh, token, but that's what she will do. Like here? Yes, thank you. Sure. I don't know why I was having a hard time grabbing her. All right, marble. Okie doke. So, I want to cast Sacred Flame on this guy. Okay. You like back off of Wish and then cast. It's a deck save. Let's nope. see. Um, Nope. Points of damage. Oot. And then she's going to use her movement to fall back. All right. And Temerity. Temerity is going to st step up to the door. And say, can someone open this? And that's it. But <laughs> hold the action to attack anyway. Where okay. Are you, where are you going? <laughs> to see if I can flank them. You don't think there's more of them in that room? There might well be, but I've always been facing them one on one. Okay. So. Um, Zill, it's it's your turn. 
Uh, well, I can't see them if I went out there. I'm just going to. Uh, in fact, I see him there at that door. Uh, are you going to open that door? I think it needs someone to press the button. Right. Well, I, good luck. Waltz can that. do it. He can regrow his finger, so he'll be fine. <laughs> And I'm going to look at the, uh, is she a halfling? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to be like, I'm going to look at the halfling and be like, he's about to open another door to a different room. Yeah. Uh, well, um, it's a plan. <laughs> <laughs> just close, just press the buttons we pressed before and close, well, no, wait for Waltz to get back. <laughs> and then we'll close the door, so it'll be fine. Wish. Right. Anyway, that is my turn. I'm not going to save any action. <laughs> you all can die on your own. You're just sitting there with your arms crossed like, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, ringleader. You're muted still. I'm going to move over here. And okay. I'm going to just... Would I have... Um, obviously with cover and all that stuff, but would it? Would I have line or effect to attack? You could. It, yeah, it would just... It would just? Yeah, it would just um, add to their AC because of the cover. Okay. Oh, you still make it. Okay. Six radiant damage. Hmm. Starting to look pretty bad from what you can see of it. Um, and I kind of go over to here. And as I go down, I go, Temerite, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... Temerite. I'm just going to be annoying like that. Mm. All right, Elton. All right. Um, I am going to tell... God, hurry up, walks. You're in the way. Oh, okay. Um, Wish, just beat that thing up first. So she's going to try to beat him up. The rust monster with a 14. Uh, yeah, that hits. All right. It takes seven force damage. Wish punches him. Is he still right. standing? He is, and she is going to suffer a minus one penalty to her force power rend. Uh, all right. Elden is going to shoot out the creature with a 18. Uh, yeah, 18 will hit. And another are, four damage. That's a rolling really. Oh, wait a sec. Okay. Oof. So close. Oh, damn it. Stupid one. Um, just... Wait. Five. Oh. I get it. I get a. I get a plus one to the weapon. I forget because it's magical. You can actually describe it. Nice. Damage. I forgot about the plus one. All right. Plus one. Um. So Wish uh, gets underneath it and punches him straight up so that uh, Elden gets a nice clear shot over Wilkes' head and shoots him midair, just boosh, explodes like a balloon. Uh, and yes, and then now I'm going to tell Wish to come up, up here and um, also Wilkes, I guess. Get up here, Wilkes. We're going to close the door. And that's all I got. Okay. Uh, Wolks, what do you do? Uh, I take a, a step out here, so like, so like, hopefully, so they they see me, and then I go, then I go back here. I actually, I'm gonna 
use my action to dash and get all the way out here. Uh, roll perception. Okay. 14. Uh, when you sort of pop your head out, you don't immediately see them. Don't care. They was to get their attention. And that's my turn. All right. Um, let's see. Rusty's dead. These guys are going. All right. So uh, I'm going to need a perception with advantage from anybody. This is a this is an auditory one. This is about what you can hear. Yeah. Um, Marble, you can definitely, um, and Temerity, you can definitely hear that banging, clanging, clawing, but there's so much of it. It is just echoing. Um, they're going crazy. It sounds like, you know, uh, if you ever heard that musical stomp, Everybody just sort of clanged garbage can lids together. That's what it sounds like over there. There's definitely more than two of them. And they're definitely freaking out. Uh, Marvel's going to let everybody know. I want, I'm going to close this door. So I'm going to head over to the, the console thing I'm above and I'm going to press the exact same buttons that I pressed to open them and I'm going to shut these two doors. Okay. So um, all, all the doors are shut. Okay. Uh, and then can I, while everyone else is figuring out their nonsense, I want to, I want to take a look at, um, at Wish and see if I can fix her so that she's not at a minus one. And I do have mending as a, as a thing. All right. You can take a look, an investigation. Okie dokie. Uh, ooh, did terrible. I got a 10. You can't fix. You're going to have to replace the part. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, It's all rust and corrosion there. Okay. You're on your own. We'll be fine. But Okay. Uh, all right, team. What's what's the plan? This place smells bad, and I'm already tired of it. Are you, we trying to open up another door down that hallway? Does, does, that seems like a really bad idea. I think it's a good idea. Well, it's, if we want to get paid, yeah, it's kind of the job yeah. we signed up for. I, I look at the door yeah, that's further down. The, you know, the one that indicates that it would open up over here where to, um, to yeah. he is currently, and I'm going to press the button regardless. He is playing a whole. We is doing a lot of work in this sentence. <laughs> All right. So you press the button and mm -hmm. Meredith, you're right there. So um, this opens here. Hang on. You see, first of all, this sort of. All this um, opens and then there's this. And so what you see, I'll make sure to get it all in there. Uh, you can definitely see where it looks like there was some sort of cave-in. You remember them telling you that there was a cave-in, and this is now blocked. And this is empty. This uh, kind of, when you, all right, and you go down, and you see... <laughs> It's like the everyone's moving up. Another corner. Does that did that open it? No. Why no. did it not do that? It said reveal areas. That, ah, all right, that should have done it. So yeah. <sighs> well. And you cannot see any of the book horrors. Yeah, and he so yells down the we... hall. What do you see? We could have flanked them. We can still flank them. And that's the cave in, by the way. 
So I don't it's know if okay. Want... Just send Walks in. He can regrow his limbs. It'll be fine. Oh, he can't regrow <laughs> his limbs. I'm pretty sure he can. How many times does he have to tell you he can't? I, Walks, have you ever lost a limb? Walks. You're muted. Walks doesn't care. No. <laughs> no. Okay, then how, then how do you know you can't? Because I've seen other members of, of my species lose limbs and not regrow them. Oh, well, I'll regrow it for you. You'll be fine. I won't lose any limbs. Marble's well, going to yell from the back. Hey, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Well, so, we have to get paid. There's two. Oh, well, okay. So everybody's going to go the same direction. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, these doors are are closed. Well, we can oh, open them again. Yes. The button. And this one's caved in. Uh, Viani is using her perception to listen to them as our voices echo down the hall so she can hear everything perfectly. (laughs) They, they, you know, they can't, they won't see us coming from this end. It'll be fine. Wish, keep them, keep them safe. That's fine. Essel says that we, uh, points out that we're all going to the same direction. Walks is going to turn around. Thank you, Walks. Oh, uh, Viani, I'm sorry. That was rude of me. I gave I gave Walks a light, not you. So I'll, I'll pull out another jar full of fireflies for her. Oh, thanks. All right, well, you have to go. Yeah, there you go. She's way back. I'll, 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 give, I'll, give it to, back. I'll give it to Marble. Marble will deliver for me. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll go with this. Right, yes. So, so Marble's got my my little. It, it, they look like fireflies. They're not actually fireflies, but they look like there's little fireflies in the jar. Cool. I'll be right behind walls. All right. So we are we opening this door again? Is that what's going yes. on? Yes. All right. I'll go over and press the button. Is anybody being stealthy at all with this? <laughs> I should roll stealth. He's trying to be stealthy. Okay. Even if he was just shouting before. Kind of right. to be stealthy when you open an automatic door. I can try to be stealthy if y'all want. All right. Uh, actually, it's it's more you guys that are coming down this other hall that oh, I need okay. to get yeah. stealth from all of Maybe you. Maybe I should go second. The other ones haven't mm-hmm. come down the hall yet. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be sneaking because I'm that kind of... That's how I roll. If we're going to go down this hallway... As a group. Yeah. Um, so something um, just for Chrissy's notes. Uh, Wish cannot be surprised. It's okay. part of being her thing. So, but otherwise, yeah, Ellen, Ellen will try to. Whole plan is to sneak up on this, so he'll try to be sneaky. Okay. Uh, so is can Wish try to be sneaky, sneaky too? So far, I've only gotten a temerity roll. So I need um, the ringleader. I, I, I would. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to be sneaky, but I don't okay. want to screw up anyone else's roll. So if it would, I would roll just because I don't want to be like, you know, whatever. Um. Just roll dexterity. Okay. Oh, jeez. You're not even trying to, but you're just sort of like, shoop, bloop, bloop, bloop around. All right. Um, yeah, I got a one plus four, so. Oh, okay. And what did your robot friend get? Oh, we're both we're right. very good at this <laughs> so um <laughs> the ringleader is just floating on a cloud cloud and temerity is you know he's going stealthy stealthy and clang 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 clang, clang comes the rest and 
uh, with a cry are going to pop out these guys because they hear you coming and actually we're going to get back into can you see him do you see him? i see three of them yeah okay so there's actually six <laughs> And they're all starting to like hiss and and breach their little claws out at you, but it 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 is not as you can see, Temerity. It's the way that this is set up. This whole thing is hard for you guys, but it's also hard for them because they're big, and this is not easy for them. <sighs> of mm-hmm. course. Um, so what we're going to do is just go straight into turn. Yeah. All right. Biani. Right. So I've been, um, in the room one, uh, most, I think all the times they've opened up the doors and our door isn't open yet. Is it? No. Someone you... needs to push the button. Oh, I thought I so... said it did. Oh, did you? Yeah. Uh, I'll, all right. I'll go press the button. Then I get behind the vault. I'll be right behind the vault. Oh, okay. All right. Then she so, yeah. is going to use her um, bonus action to dash. Two. Uh, wait, wait. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, all right, she's going to get to there. Um, and then she is going to use her crossbows to sort of like step out from the corner. Yeah. Okay. Um, or, or just kind of from around the wall because she's very small so people can get past her very easily if they want to run past her. Um, so, yep. Then, a if I can just grab the right sheet. Come on, sheet. There you are. Thank you. I would like my uh, short bow. All right, here it goes. All right, well, that will hit. Excellent. Uh, there's the, You can ignore the sneak because there's no enemies that uh, okay. for the one in front that I'm aiming at. So it's just, just it's the eight. Yep, and then she will like hide back around the corner, and that is her turn. Okay, Marble, it is your turn. She is. Oh, there she is. Yeah, I'm right here. There you are. She's running to meet you. Um, Marble is going to follow after Diani and. Where is it? Sacred flame on this guy. Uh, he's dead. I'm sorry. I didn't. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I didn't put the dead on him, and I forgot. I'm sorry. But yes, he's dead. It's all right. So then she's just gonna peek around, like scoot past mm-hmm. Viani, peek around, and shoot sacred flame at him. All right. Do you have the? Um, did you have the movement for that? Give me space. What he said, kitty speed. Okay. Kitty speed. Yeah. Kitty speed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so with kitty speed, you can sort of duck over and sacred flame. Sacred flame. All right. It's so sacred. Uh, and that is a deck save. Yes. Okay. Mm. And it's five. Five damage. Okay, and that was the same one that she had hit before. Which one was it? This one? This one. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna move back behind Diani. Just get out of the way. <laughs> Use her as human. Okay. Temerity. Ooh, Guy in front of you. Be fun. Uh, yep, Timothy's going to move up, make the first unarmed attack. Timothy no. Doesn't hit. Second unarmed attack. Oh, for crying out loud. Nope. Never mind. That's it. That's my turn. It's really hard to get at these guys because of the way their hook arms are just like swinging and you have to keep 
sort of dodging and weaving. Mm. Sucks. Mm. Sill. So, um, well, I don't want to get in Walk's way. Weaving hooks. Wonderful. Um, I'll step here and I am going, I'm just going to wait for walks. Go ahead. I don't want to make his check harder. Okay. And I kind of need him in front of me. Uh, I, can, right. I can literally crawl, crawl on the wall. Well, if that's oh, okay, fine. I'll <laughs> <laughs> then I'll get in his way, knowing that he can crawl on the wall. You have seen him do, do it at this point. He's done it a couple times. So, all right, uh, ringleader. Right, ringleader is. Mm. Apologies, I'm looking at that. Right, I am going to cast my second spell and it is going to be Healing Spirit. Bonus action, Ooh. it is. Okay, so it's gonna, so what this does is that it occupies a five foot cubes five foot cube right and you start your turn in it you enter its square you regain d6 health um and it's two times hmm? uh yep uh hang on second oh my goodness Sorry? Uh, was there something else? So where is this yes. healing spirit? It's going to be on... It's going to be on Temerity. Okay. Not on Temerity as in like it's going to move with her, with him. It's it's in the same square. Okay. All um, right. And that's my bonus action. My major action is going to be um, to take a step up and use my action to cast Guidance on Temerity. Okay. Um, you got a d4, add it to your number, you know? Yay. Have fun with it. All Don't right. spend it all in one place. And yeah, that is my turn. Oh, actually, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna move back one square uh, to give Wish and Elden room. Okay. Uh, and that's my turn. And so, yep, Elden, it is your turn. Okie doke. So, Elden, I'm. Now I can see the spot. I'm going to. Oh, I'm going to have to get that close. That's okay. I'm going to get that close past the ringmaster and whatnot. Uh, and I take out of my um, my bag of all sorts of goodies take out a uh what looks like a a wine bottle with a with a piece of like cloth sticking out of it and i light it on fire and throw it into the middle of the these group of people um casting fairy fire on them so they need to do me a deck save do you need to be able to see them uh i think i just need to be able to see the point Within range, so no. Yeah, you don't even need to be able to see them. I don't even need to see them. Okay. Yeah, so all, all right. of that was just descriptive nonsense that I did not need. But yeah, <laughs> okay. I don't even need to see it. So I throw it. I, it's a 20 foot cube, which I think might cover it, probably at least two, hopefully three of these guys. 
It it can cover all of them. All right. Like it, does any of them save? Uh, the second one does. Okay. So this guy does not, but this guy and the other one does. Let's see. Where is Fairy Fire, you say? Yeah, so they are now glow. The, the flames surround them, and they're now glowing and blue, have a nice blue outline around them. Mm -hmm. uh, which means for the rest say, of the uh, This is a Fairy Fire. All right. Because I don't have a good Fairy Fire one. So everyone has advantage on hitting those two. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to, I didn't need to, but I'm going to step back and so that I can wish, let Wish through. Uh, All right, to Wish stand. is going to have to, um, she is going to have to do a dexterity or uh, acrobatics check. Acrobatics, go with an 11. No, she's not going to, she right, can make she it over you, but like, yeah, uh, it's a little bit, it's just not, she just can't seem to figure out how to maneuver around the ringleader. So okay. she's going to have to go back. Bam. All right. That's fine. Um, those two have advantage. So I think that's all I got. All right. Wolks. I'm going to move here. Right, using to... my climb speed to get over uh, get over them. Yeah, just do me a quick acrobatics. It's yeah. it's low, but it is a sewer. It's... It is gross. So yeah. All right. Yep. You're here. Uh, uh, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna ready my hold my action to do uh, an attack if um, one of them comes within melee. Okay. All right. So Rusty is gone. Oh, why didn't our guy? them in at one. Okay. So uh, you are going to get an attack of opportunity here. So go ahead. Or uh, sorry, yes, you yeah. saved your attack. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do an, yeah, I'm going to do an, an arm strike on him. Like just like he comes in Wayne and I just like punch him. Yep. It's with advantage. So. Yes, and I'm not wearing, um, since I'm not holding a weapon of our shield, it is uh, a D8. And I crit. You crit. And he takes uh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. All right. Um, and he is going to attack you twice. Kind of figured. Mm -hmm. uh, second one hits. All right, 10 piercing damage. Mm -hmm. um, this guy's going to come over here. And he can still hit because 10 feet is their actual range. Oh. Yep. They got long arms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's going to go twice at you. Both of those hit. Okay. That's seven and 16. Oof, that's not good. So that's what I'm I'm down. Okay. Um and this guy is gonna hit Temerity. And let's see.
Wow. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's only nine. That's not too bad. Yeah, well, you got lucky on that one. <laughs> yeah. All right. And yeah, that is them. So, Viani. Right. Viani sees her comrade falling. So she is. Oh, she's right next to him, isn't she? Uh, yes, so she is going to cast Cure Wounds on him. That goes through. Come on, roll 20. It might come through twice now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just not wanting to roll. I don't know what <laughs> I am clicking. Might, you might have to refresh. It sounds like you might have to refresh your, your roll, Tony. Uh, okay. Well, I can also just like put the spell description up and roll it old school, like. Mm -hmm. um, if it wants, oh, it will. It, that's weird. Yeah. So one d eight plus my spell casting ability modifier, which is a two. All right. What, Wilkes? Why don't you roll the d eight okay. and then add two? Oh, I see. What it was asking me what level I wanted to submit it at over and oh. over, but my sheet was in the freaking way. So just. Uh, uh. Whoops. Hey. Oh, do, ignore nine. the sneak, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Fault did so, nine's good. Sneaky. Yeah, nine, that's pretty good. All right, and then she will use her bonus action to disengage. And uh, I think she's feels like she's clogging things up a bit. So I think she would probably, like, uh, want to. Yeah, yeah, they're coming down the hallway. So she's going to move back uh, behind her two compatriots to make way so that they can get their attacks in. And that'll be her turn. All right. Just, uh, yeah, you're a halfling, so you can make it by them, right? Correct. All right. The thing is, I have to grab my token in, like, the upper left-hand corner. It's just weird, but that's what I have to do. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway. All right. Uh, Marble. I think you guys are kind of half in the dark here. Okay. Marble is going to step forward and mm -hmm. cast Cure Wounds again on Wolves. There you go. You're nice and healed. Go get them. Mm. <laughs> Fianni gives her like a thumbs up. Like, I like this plan. You and I just stick behind the big guy and keep throwing Cure Wounds. <laughs> <laughs> we just both heal him. And then turn to each other and go, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yep. Like, it's the acrobatics team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Temerity. I, have you been, you've been hit, right? Yes. But you're in the healing whatever it is. That is a good point. So you should get some sort of healing, I think. D6. Roll a D6. Get that much health back. Okay. Not bad. Hmm? And since there's one right in front of me, go with the spear first. That does not hit. He gets advantage because he's... Oh right! Fire fire. Sorry, you're right. Fire. Thank you. Nice yeah, that you that back. hits. That's four. Okay. And then the follow up unarmed struck. Oh yeah! All right. Yes. Another nine. Okay. Now, do I spend another key point? What else are you? What are you saving them for? Come on. At this level, not much. Really yeah, exactly. You're fine. Just you're fine. Fourteen. Uh, does not hit. Uh, wow. No. Okay, that's why turned up. All right. Um, I am going to just let you know you could go within his reach without getting an attack of opportunity. I just. Just letting you know. Yeah, but as long I don't as you don't... this one okay. coming up. I don't want this one coming up and flanking me. 
Okay. Well, you'll be fine. You can regrow your limbs. <laughs> <laughs> Just get in there. Otherwise, we can't get in there. Yeah, you're clogging up the hallway. You're, you're, yeah, your wings are in the way. My wings stick up. Sorry, my wings flick out of the bird. Yeah, well, how? Okay, well, either way, get in there. I got. I got. Can't shoot past your wings. They're in the way. Okay, fine. I'll do this. Okay. Good job. All right. Um, and so that brings us to Zil. Yeah. Um. Well. I see. Can I see the hook tour? You can see this one for sure. I'm still laying down. Oh, right. He's and... laying down. <sighs> I can't see the other one. That's fine. That's fine. Um, believe I will cast Toll of the Dead. Why not? We'll do Toll of the Dead. So it's a. It's what level? It's a fucking cantrip, so it's level three, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, come on. Book horror. There you are. Mm, wisdom. And fails. Fails. All right. How much does it take? A D12 necrotic damage. Ten. Oh. So a large bell chimes overhead the hook horror, and as it does, a wave of necrotic energy racks its body. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it's looking it's looking kind of gross. I mean it was gross to begin with, but it's it's looking grosser, bloody and all scratched up. Okay. Well, you know, I'll move here. All right, ring leader. Ring leader is going to use this opportunity to take a pot shot at this fine specimen of a hook. Okay. Uh, archer line. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Well, that's me fucked. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. Wait, isn't it only a bonus action to use that? Nope, it is an action. Unless uh, I read it wrong. Let me have a look. Uh, it is as a bonus action. Oh, I, I, I made so. a mistake. I apologize. Um, I was just, I was trying to pull it up. Sorry. Never mind. Uh, and you have your movement. Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to make, I'm just going to close the, close the distance. Uh, I'm going to close the distance and I'm going to attack it with, uh, Miss Spear. So let's have fun with the spear. No. Nope. Oh. Uh, well, just to, just to be clear, I'm not the, the, this pile of slime is not actually walking around with a fucking spear in its hands. It uh, extrudes a pseudopod that is very sharp and uh, is ostensibly a spear, and it would melt in like you know rust be rust monster stuff. But yeah, anyway, that's my turn. Alrighty, uh, Elden. All right, I'm going to tell Wish to go help out uh, Temerity. Um, go help him out. I'm pretty sure his limbs don't grow back. Uh, and so she's going to go stand over here um, and do the help action for Temerity okay. the next time he uh, attacks. No, wait, that doesn't make sense. Never mind. No. I mean, I'll just, she'll still stand there, but yes, go ahead. Uh, just a quick acrobatics. Quick acrobatics, see if she can make it. 16. She can make it. Oh, yeah, no, it doesn't matter to help because she's already got advantage, so that's silly. So she's just going to rend powered thing, minus one, so 15. 
Uh, 15 is its AC, so yes, Woot! that does it. Nice. So, uh, with her rusty arm, sticks it into into his side. He takes six points of force damage. Okay. Um, and that leaves Elden, who is going to shoot with Veronica for with advantage for a 19. That hits. Okay, so you get uh, 11 points of damage. Okay. All right. Um, and just for spicy things, because he's got his his magical, he's turned Veronica into a magical weapon. Um, all of these shots are like little blue lights of energy rather than bullets. Sparkly bullets. Sparkly bullets. Sparkly blue. All right. Yes. Pew, pew. Uh, is that everything? Yes, that's everything. All right, Wolks. Uh, first, I'm going to stand up. Stand, I'm going to stand up, and then I am going to do a, a bite attack on this guy. Mm -hmm. I hope it's with advantage. Yeah, it's with advantage. Nope, Ooh. that doesn't hit. Yeah, you. he really rattled your, your cage there, so it was like, oh. Okay, uh, then I'm going to use my bonus action to do a the Hungry Jaws. Since I haven't hit, I still have it, I haven't hit with it yet. I'm going to throw another bite attack on him. 24, I'm assuming that hits. That one hits, all right. So seven piercing, and then he has to do the con save. DC Let's 11. see what he does. Yeah, I think he makes it, yeah. yeah. All right. So seven, but seven points of and then, damage. And then I am going to do an action search. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I get another attack, and I'm going to uh, punch, attempt to punch him. Yep. So that's so he takes 10 damage. 10, 10 bludgeoning. Okay. You're definitely getting him down there. He's not quite down yet, but... And that is uh, my turn. Okay. So, let's see. Um, this guy is going to take two shots at you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both of those hit. Okay. Eight. Mm -hmm. And ten. Eighteen. Eighteen. Oof. So now on even, he is going to stick with you guys, and odds, he's going to head the other way. Odds. So he's actually distracted now by all this commotion going on over here. And he is going to go and let's see. Mm, I think he would go for these because he can see them. So he is going to uh, hit once out at. Um, Uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Wish. And wants it to Meredith. Okay, do those hit? Ah! No, stop. <laughs> sorry. Got very excited there. Temerity, uh, sorry. Wish, when the hook creature goes after Temerity, starts making no, loud, bleepy, no. bloppy noises and distracts him. Being so loud. I know. All right, so... So he's disadvantage on the one at Temerity. Okay, so does 17 hit her? 17 does hit her. Okay, so uh, 13 piercing damage to her, but uh, nothing to Temerity. 
Um, let's see. This guy is gonna go once to the ringleader. Eight. And then once to Temerity. Really excited. 18. 18 hits. So 10 piercing damage. All right. Back to the top, Vianney. Yes, uh, so Vianney is going to move through her compatriots and stand there. Um, and she is going to then take out her dagger and she's going to attempt to stab the thing that keeps trying to attack her friend. Okay. Sneak. Yep. Yep. So for a total of... Um, 11 and she doesn't oh, that's you could describe oh. how she kills him yeah so um it was swinging at wolks and t uh, viani dashes up gets out her little dagger and just stabs at it in what she thinks is like its softest and most vulnerable part I mean, it's really gross, so she kind of freaks out, and she jerks her hand back, but as she does, she just slices it, and a whole bunch of guts just sort of spill out. It, it sort of it. looks down, because it didn't even see you coming. Mm -hmm. You're much smaller than it is, and just sits there and watches its intestines drop out, and then keels down. Whew. And yeah, that's going to be her turn. Actually, she can move. So she's got a further five feet of movement, so she can move there. And that will be her turn then. Okay. Uh, marble. And you just saw a literal evisceration in front of you. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, Marble's going to get it excited <laughs> that her acrobatics friend just took that thing out and she's going to go up next to her and cast guiding bolt on this guy. Okay. With advantage. advantage. Nope. Darn. Oh, well. Uh, she's going to give Vianney a high fire. Yeah. She's going to give it back like next time. You killed oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> totally killed them together. You got this. Yeah. Okay. All right. Temerity. Don't got this quite yet. And then still on this one. 15. Uh, 15 hits. For nine. Okay. Uh, yep. 20 hits. It, it is bloody. These things are tough. Eh. Maybe third time lucky. 18 does hit, so yeah. For another seven. Yeah. Yeah, you're punk, punk, <laughs> punk, and it's just got whoa, whoa. <laughs> Okay, last one. No. So close. <laughs> All right. That brings us to Zill. Well, um, I'll step inside. Excuse me. Um, we'll see. We see two here. One's ringed with fire, correct? Yes. And the other one is the one that was here. So, um, Zill will um, conjure up an image uh, in front of that one's face of a suddenly appearing on the horror's beak, a uh, small goblin with a knife begins jabbing the knife into the beaks, beak of the, uh, of the horror that it's holding on to. Uh, on this it, guy? Yeah, it needs to make a intelligence save. Oh, that's not going to work well for him. He, he's not the smartest. 
15. Wow, that resisted it. Oh, he was like, uh, it, he's really very dumb, but they have great. Oh, wait, it can use its action. So it's got to do it on his turn. I still get to do at least some damage before it's resisted. Oh, uh, okay. So uh, I believe it's a D6 is the damage. It's a simple damage, but it's a good spell that distracts. Uh, okay. And that's psychic damage, by the way. Sense. Okay. So uh, it would have needed to do... A... It would need to take its action to to investigate the thing that's on it. Okay. And Otherwise, what... it believes that it is real. It Anything it does to the goblin, for example... Uh, that like he doesn't make the save check, but he, he interacts with it. He perceives it, and he also smells it, feels the heat of it, um, and anything he does to it that doesn't make sense, he rationalizes in his own mind. Okay. All right. Well, since he did it, I'm going to say that he uses used his action that way. Okay. So, just gonna take his action away, but that's all right. Alrighty. Uh, ringleader. Ringleader is going to go about trying to blood, get this bloody bastard down. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to be with a spear. 17 to AC? Yep. Ooh, eight piercing damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Elden. All right, Wish. I'm going to yell at Wish to attack the hooked guy in front of her with minus one. Ooh, seven. Probably doesn't hit. That definitely doesn't hit. Yeah, so I'm going to let um, Wish keep defending um, Temerity. So the next attack at Temerity is with disadvantage, and I'm going to shoot with Veronica at... Oh, wait! She's got... No, 12, because she's got advantage, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to shoot with Veronica, and I get a... 20-something. Um, 15 plus uh, 6. 21. Yeah. Yep. 21 and 5 plus 4, 9 points of magical piercing damage. Pew pew. He is looking real bad. Looking real bad. All right. Uh, and we, that brings us to Wolks. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to do a second wind. So that's ten a D ten plus three. Oof. That is that is bad. Well uh mm. well it's four. Yeah. Um uh, what's the range of attack on the dagger again? Uh, 20, okay. I'm gonna... Yeah, 20 of you. So there, okay. I'm gonna move here, and then I'm gonna throw a dagger at this guy. Okay. With, at... Well, you would have been caught up in the um, fairy fire as well, if the these two... Okay. Oh, normal. This um, is the one who made the save. He did not. Oh, it made the save. Ah, okay. I missed that. Sorry. So uh, this one did not. Yeah. Dagger. No. No. One last dagger. Okay. That is my turn. Okay. It is now the hook horse. Um, so again, this guy is going to go once for the ringleader. And once for temerity. 
Okay. Ring leader first. Temerity second. 16 and 20. The Temerity one is with disadvantage because of Wish. Wish ah. is over there being a giant distraction the whole time. 14. So 14 does, does not hit. Does 16 hit you, ringleader? Uh, 16 does, in fact, hit me. And okay. it hits me very, very well. All right. Uh, that is, oh, sorry, wrong hit thing. 11. Okay. And let's see. Uh, the next one is going to attack... Uh, wants to temerity and wants to wish. The wish. The other one's no. too busy investigating the thing on it. Oh, that's right. You're right. Thank you for reminding me. The other one is like, it's looking at, it's like, and finally it seems to figure out, oh, it's, it's, no, never mind. No. So, but that's its old turn. And Vianney, it's your turn. Okay, so from where she is, she is going to use her crossbow. And she's going to fire at the one that's right, uh, the closest to her. Okay. So, short bow, sorry, not crossbow, short bow. Yay! And she's Yay. got an enemy, yeah. or she's got an ally nearby on that one. Yes. Within five feet, so the sneak as well. Okay. And then the she'll just that take is... the dodge action as her bonus action. Okay. And that was this guy, right? Correct. Okay. And that's her turn. All right. Uh, Marble. Okay, I'm going to attack this guy with Sacred Flame. Okay. Ooh. And he needs to make a deck save, right? Yes. And that means nothing. Nothing. Okay. And temerity. This one is still I see. So 16. 16 hits. Six uh, okay. Seems to be hanging on by a thread. Oh, we quit. Oh, yeah. You can describe how you kill him. After stabbing the spear into it, Bertie leaps up, grabs hold of its skull, and just tears its sorry, tears the jaw from the rest. Uh it just like Argh! and it just like his tongue falls out. It's really gross. It's just all this bile and he just collapses. Going to just get rid of him. Because he's too big to just leave there. <laughs> oh, okay. two down. Yep. And end of my turn. All right, Zill. Zill will cast Call the Toll of the Dead. Toll yeah, of the that's Dead. A yeah, that's con a save, right? I believe. Just a double check. I think it's Wisdom. It's a Wisdom save. Wisdom save. It does not take damage then. Okay. Uh, and let's see. Ringleader. Right. Uh, I believe you also take some healing, right? I do. Well, also, shouldn't you have been doing cons to see if you kept the concentration of it? Uh, is uh, it a concentration spell? It is a concentration spell. All I right, forgot so. about that. I apologize. DC yeah. 10. That's easy. Mm, you got this. <laughs> okay, how many? Uh, it would just be the one, wouldn't it? 
Yeah. Yeah, just one. Yeah, you, you made it good. fine. Golden. Oh, that's 15. Right. So first things first, I am going to hit him with, hit the last one with the archer line as a bonus action. Boop. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. That hits. Okay, there is a bit of a problem, which is, could could someone else click on it? Uh, the, uh, what's his name? The tool tip has had a bit of a mistake. Yeah, it's just and like that. It won't get rid of it. No. Oh, yeah, you need to refresh for twenty when it does that. Yeah. Anyway, seven radiant damage, and okay. then I'm going to hit him again. This time with my second innate spell, which is going to be guiding bolt. Oop. Ooh, twenty-two. Yep, that hits. And cast. It is cast as a first level spell. Pity. Okay. Eight damage. Okay. So altogether, that is 15 radiant damage. This um, guy is also looking bloodied. And I'll go over to there. Okay. Um, by the way, the um, what's his name? The healing spirit has a maximum number equal to the spell level that it was cast at, which is two. And, well, you know, like two heals has occur have occurred. So yeah. now it's so no it's longer gone. there. It's gone. OK. Um, Elden. All right. I'm going to tell Wish to make sure that she helps out Temerity with his next attack. Um and keep keep an eye on him and then I'm gonna move forward and take uh, my pew pew at mm -hmm. the hooker with a oh like an eight or something that's not a hit. You have advantage because of the guiding bolt. Oh, do I? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I forgot about the guiding bolt. Nope. <laughs> Fuck. I got two twos. I literally rolled two twos. Mm -hmm. oh. You got a, a South, South African. I can do ballet. Oh, no, I can do. But shut up. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna step back a little bit so that I don't get get attacked by this thing. And that's all I got. All right, um, Wolks. Before you go, mm -hmm. because you did really well in your nature check before with these guys. You know that most of the time they would be running away. So if they are not running away, it means that they are something that they are protecting. There's some reason that they're not taking off, um, that they're trying so hard to make a stand. You can also hear that there's more banging going on. So in this area, this is big enough for them to fit through. You're guessing that there is something in there, or there's more in there, and there's some reason that they're so upset. Mm. So, take of that what you will. I'll I'll shout out uh, to uh, Temerity um, that there's uh, something probably behind, something behind that wall. Yeah, this is not a door. It's not a wall. It's um. Okay, I can reveal. Oh yeah, I can't really see what it is. <laughs> oh come on! What are you doing there? So it's kind of like an opening. Oh, this. So that's Wings. where they're coming from. It's a Wings. big hole in the wall. Wings. I think they're protecting something in that hole. And uh, should we do this? Uh, I don't want to. I have very little health. I'm going to chuck my other dagger at it. That's my action. Yep. 
Great. Uh, it takes uh, five piercing damage. Okay. And that is my turn. All right. So this hook horror, there's not much he can do, but uh, try to attack. So that's what he's going to do. Um, he's going to go actually after uh, you. Later. Uh, Wish is going to start ding, binging and dinging and distracting the shit out of him. Can she do that if he's not in front, if he's not beside her? Oh, uh, actually, I don't know. Let me find out. Got all excited there, and I might be wrong. Oh, uh, the defender imposes disadvantage on the attack rolls of one creature it can see that is within one five feet of her. No. Okay. So. Oh wait, no. The creature is five feet of it. Provided the attack roll is uh, is against a creature other than the defender. So the creature is within five feet of of wish. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's yes. the enemy that has to be within five feet. Yeah. So yes. Okay. All right. So does thirteen uh, hit her? Uh, no. Nope. I'm assuming ten does not hit. Um. Sadly not. No. Uh, no. Thirteen does not hit wish. All right. So. Going back up, Biani. Wish is doing her job. Yes. She is, um, let's see. Um, she's aware of her surroundings. She knows that Zill is behind her, but doesn't seem to be bothered by her standing in front. So she's going to notch another arrow in her short bow and let it fly. Let's see how it goes. Oof, but she misses this time. And oh. then she is going to turn to her um, sister in the air and give her her last bardic inspiration. Okay. And that's her turn. Oh, she'll take the dodge you. action again. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Your fun is good. Marvel, you feel very inspired. <laughs> I'm so inspired. Go. Do something good. You're awesome. You can do this. Hey, uh, I'm gonna hit this guy with Sacred Flame. Boop. Okay, another Dex. Inspiration. No. I don't think you can. I don't. Are you one of those bards that you can use it for for damage? For. No. no, not no. that high yet. I'm only like okay. first level. I just always ask because I always forget. Uh, <laughs> is. Nope. Oh, so he takes the yep. three. Yeah. Three. Okay. All right. Uh, and that's you. All right. Temerity. What's your dark vision, Temerity? be 60 mm -hmm. 60 feet sorry so you can see i'm gonna guess you can see uh it's really more about your direction of your yeah so you can you can see um yeah that that starts That's to get you it's yes, you see a cavern. And you see, let me see. Make sure. Oh, lovely. So you see there's two more of these hook horrors, and you can see that there is a big old nest with an egg in it. Ah, crap, guys. It's a nest. I think there might be two more. And then eggs. 
All right. So what you gonna do? Well, I'm not gonna wait for myself up to be frank, so it's just stabbing this one for the time being. Mm -hmm. yep. I assume 17. Four. And yep. then the unarmed is a miss. All right, hang on. Why are you doing this? Okay. Sorry. There we go. And that's my turn. Okay. Um, Zill. Toll of the dead. Wisdom save. Wisdom save. Wisdom save. He made it. No damage. They aren't unwise. They have some wisdom, so that's good for them. For them. <laughs> um, I, I will stand right here. I have no reason to move forward. Mm -hmm. All right, ring leader. Ring leader is going to be astonishingly unhappy. So many, so many hook horrors. This is horrible. <laughs> um, all right, so ring leader is. Gonna move over here. Gonna uh, give Temerity some guidance, and then a uh, quick thing on this rule: the shooting out of melee, so shooting from here to there, is yeah. that disadvantage? No, or doable, or does That's it? That's doable. It's it's okay. not disadvantage. Okay, right. In that case, that's exactly what I do. Shooting that one right there. Nope, oh, doesn't uh, hit. Sad. So sad. Uh, but yeah, that's me. Okay. Uh, Elden. All right. Let's go pew on this one thing left in front of me with a something useful, I hope. That's not useful at all. 12, I'm sure does not hit. Mm -mm. No. And uh, Wish is going to, again, use her... No, she's almost dying. Um, she is going to repair herself again, because she needs a little bit of that. Um, so, oh, terrible amounts of repair. But she repairs herself a little bit. And uh, she's just going to keep defending um, Temerity or... Ring leader, whoever gets attacked first. Okay. And that's all I got. All right. Um, Wolks. Okay, I am going to chop my potion of healing and punch it. Okay. 16. That hits. It takes five uh, bludgeoning. Okay. And uh, that yeah, that's my that's that's my turn. Okay. Um, and here comes the hook horror. Uh, you know this is the one that keeps getting him. It keeps getting in the way of him hitting anybody else, so he's just going to hit her, I think. All right. Seven and 14. Uh, Wish falls apart into a bunch of pieces. No. Our first death. Pour one out. <laughs> All right. You you hear Elden cry out, no. <laughs> he just sort of takes his 
these hooks and does <laughs> this motion that backwards. Eldon takes off his hat, puts it on his chest, and says, I'll never forget you, Wish. Hmm. All right. This guy is going to hold an action if anybody comes at, comes towards the nest, but is not going to move. So, Biani. Yep. Here comes um, the short bow again with, I think, sneak attack uh, if it hits. Uh, yeah, that hits. Okay, so 12 total damage. Okay. And that's her turn. Holding on by a thread, this guy. <laughs> Marble. All right, I'm going to hit this guy with Sacred Flame again. <laughs> All right, and we'll do the deck save again. <laughs> Oof. Ooh, he it's failed. Damage. You kill him. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so Do you want to describe his horrible death? Oh, I didn't hear you. <laughs> uh, Marvel just throws this bright flame at them and they just burst into the flames. Yeah. You hear it go and just fall. <laughs> Excellent work, ladies. Yeah, Vianney goes over and gives her and they do another high five. Up high down low. Oh yeah, high five. Yeah. Like We're the awesome. you know, like like gymnasts when they walk past and they do up and down, you know, like booty <laughs> <Pretty> slap. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe y'all should come back over here on this side of the room. She shouts. Okay. I'm not sure. I think they're waiting for us this time. So, are we trying to get rid of these creatures? They, you know, what's what is back there? I don't know. What is back it's there? A nest. Oh. It's two more of these things. The and then there's eggs. Well, that seems rude. Mm. Okay. Just okay. kill its nest. At least we can. That's no. <laughs> while while, while Elden is not? talking, he's also like tinkering with, with Wish's corpse. I mean, I guess we could see if we could collapse this entrance. That would. Close what them what back was our in. contract, Viani? It uh, was to clear the sewers, or just was it to take care of the problem? Um, Ringmaster, do you remember the exact wording? Yeah, it was. I know some good gnome lawyers that might be able to help us out. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> Are they in the dark? Well, this isn't supposed to be open anyway. This is supposed to be closed off. So if we close it off, we solve the problem. They're not going to get back in. We just have to... Solve the problem for now. Can I roll a nature check to see if they... Or my previous nature check to see if these things can dig? <laughs> um... <sighs> you know what? Um, Zill, you're from the Underdark. Why don't you roll a nature check? Oh, yes. With advantage. Yes. You would know more about them. Good 14. Um, third natural one today for me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Luckily, you had advantage. Oh, no. uh, it's okay. What you... You do not believe that they would try to get through. What you think happened, um, 
based on what you can piece together and and looking at the whole you think those rust monsters got through and that's what has led to the problem the, mm. because there's metal around this wall so you think that the rust monsters probably smelled the metal and went after it you don't see you don't really know for sure they might be able to dig but you don't see that they would it doesn't seem like they're not aggressive in quite that way so i think oh are you sharing this with us i should ask i just look at them and i go um uh, they're gonna get out we should kill them all <laughs> I mean, sounds like a good plan. Well, it's a rather extreme. <laughs> well, it's the Underdark creatures. Have you ever been down here long enough? We're not even in the Underdark. Like, yeah, this isn't even Where your do you home. think that they come from? I mean, maybe. Well, but... when a mommy monster and a daddy monster... Yes, yes. Look yes. Each other. <laughs> Very cute. They lay an egg. They lay an egg, apparently. <laughs> we should. We should kill them. Or we could just hide them, like you collapse a tunnel and then they're fine. They can do that. Just go in there first. It's you terrible. Well, giant... you go first. You 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 can regrow your limbs. <laughs> I can't. I still. That is still not true. And I am not in the best of shape at the moment. Oh my God, you're fine. Um, I'll I don't go. Think any of us are in the best of shape. What are you talking about? I have no, nothing's even us. touched me. Well, you've been hiding in the back. Well, I go up and like poke you hot in the back. <laughs> Fine, here. I'll, I'll, I reach. I reach into my my bag of things, pull out uh, a little sphere that cr- turns into like a little spider and crawls around Volks, uh, patching him up and then healing, curing all his wounds, as some might might say. Um, mm. There, you're fine. You've cured his wounds. Stop being such a baby. Oops. So, little robot stitches you up. Also, after a minute of sitting here chatting, uh, uh, Wish comes back to life. Because it only <laughs> takes me a minute. <laughs> Are the hook hours just standing there, like growling at us. Yeah, they are they are watching you. They are not coming after you, but they are kind of aggressively posturing, letting you know that if you come close, they'll attack. Yeah, see, they're not gonna they're not gonna come after us. Yeah, all we could just, we could just collapse this little the door and then they'll be fine. <clears throat> Put I'll a do not enter the... sign on here. Do not enter that. <laughs> I have, I have a, I have a thing that I can do, and I pull out a little, little music box, and I record "Do not enter" on it, and I place it on the floor, and when somebody touches it, it says "Do not enter." You know, a lot of the time when people are told not to enter something. Okay, at this enter. point, and I like that's a them problem. <laughs> like they were true. warned. That is true. While they're having this conversation, I'll pick, <laughs> go and pick up my the two daggers I threw and put them back in my build. Sure. Uh, I got it's a question for the DM. Yeah. If I so I have the I have the ritual animal uh, speak with animals. Does this thing count enough as an animal to for that to realistically work? Uh, you can try. <laughs> you certainly try. Just take a short rest to do that. Well, I'm not. A short rest? You're fine. It takes an a- it takes one action to. Oh yeah. To- not if you're casting it as a ritual. Then it takes ten minutes. But cast it as a ritual. Then I get my key points back. Uh, a short rest is an hour. Short rests are an hour. Yeah. yeah. Ten minutes is probably Sadly. fine. Yeah. Uh, you the sure? ring mastery. It's like it's like talking to the lions and the tigers that we have at the at the and circus. The and the bears. Oh, <laughs> okay. We have those yeah. at the at the at the circus. It's like that. Just like 
can go in there, calm them down, and see if they'll like chill for a sec. I'd just okay. like to tell you that that's not an animal. Hey, um, like ringleader, thing... do you want to roll nature? Sure. All right, these aren't animals, they are monstrosity. Okay. You interacted enough with them to know they do appear to have their own language. Mm -hmm. All that banging and clanging was some sort of communication, but it's it's a it's not an animal communication, it's a monster communication. Okay. Um I'll just say I'll just look at everyone and I'll say with reasonable stir with reasonable sternness we're killing them <laughs> <laughs> and um then I'll just turn around and like I'll wait for the fleshy ones to heal themselves up and you, uh, you know yeah. you don't have to get such pleasure out of it Zil. <laughs> Is Gusty back yet? Don't know what you're talking about. You just you, you am, cackled. Yes. You literally oh, cackled. Yeah, you were like, yes, it. I get to murder these. No. Mm. You don't understand. There Those are... things have nearly killed me more times than you could more times than you, more years than you've been alive. These things. Have you have you tried not going into their nests? If you live on the underdark, they just move around everywhere. Um, I clicked that by accident. However, that's, that's a okay. question. Can we take, if we could, take a short rest? Or are hour. these things going to push no. a fight? Um... <laughs> that's a that's a terrible idea, Ringmaster. I respect Please. you. You are very pretty. Viani also, pipes up. Like... Did, didn't you two stand in the back the whole time? Disney Prince pretty. Dis <laughs> Disney Prince pretty. Like gorgeous blue eyes and blonde hair. But. I don't think they're gonna sit here and wait for an hour for us to like get our get ourselves together. You'll be fine. Wilkes can heal himself anyway. I'm like he's okay. He'll regrow his limbs. Let him go first. I have spent that. I have spent what adrenaline I had. I can get. You. Also, we don't have to stay here. Yeah, we can go back to the main room. They're not going anywhere. Yes. They can't get out. Yeah, we can close the doors. Rest up a little, come back. And then you lot can go first next time. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you can go first. Why would I go first? I have a gun. Exactly. Exactly. You can go first. No, that... Go in with your gun yeah. blazing. I, I, pew pew. No. Waltz <laughs> can regrow his limbs. He's fine. And I'm, I'm pretty sure Temerity can too. Well, if you want us to come along, I think we need to make sure everybody is. <sighs> fine. <laughs> Yeah, me and Viani have been pulling our weight. Yeah. All right. All right. Come on, Wish. <laughs> we high five. Yeah. Going back to the we other room. We walk back and down the hallway together. <laughs> yeah. Just besties. Yeah. We're going to make our own sorority. Oh, Let's yeah. go. <laughs> Look at our poses. Go They're so similar. Yeah. I totally didn't do that on pictures. purpose. Ah, oh, so you get the two of us together, like mirroring each other? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm I... right here. We're gonna close the door. Why? So they don't get in. So here. they can set up another ambush. Okay. Well, you're, I'm gonna close the door whether you're on that side or this side. <laughs> so you pick which side you wouldn't be on. This is excellent teamwork. I have the high ground. <laughs> there you go. See, good choice. Good choices were made. Um, while everyone is resting because apparently they can't take a couple of hooks. Uh, I'm a half <laughs> And I am out of all the things I need to actually be useful. I am going to investigate the top console since I only looked at the bottom one. Okay. Um, and I got me a ooh, 19 plus 5. 4, 24. Right. So, uh, first of all, you realize that you could turn the lights on here. Hey, there's lights. <laughs> Did you guys know there's lights? There was a light switch the whole time. There's a light switch. <laughs> Did you know that? I'm going to turn on the lights. All right. Put out the candles and torches or whatever. Yeah. I hand, I hand so, uh, the job back to you. 
not um, uh, basically not the cavern, but everything else. All the uh, things are lit. Okay. Um, well, maybe all the keep... quarters yeah. and and whatnot. I'll keep them for now, then, since the cavern. Yeah, it's not like they're gonna go out. That's a that's a waterproof. Like you're good. You also think that there is um, this is some sort of flushing mechanism in there. Flushing mechanism. That well, might true. have to do with that those drains that you've been seeing. Ooh. Which you... hmm. Neat. Modern toilets. Okay, so we can we can flush. We might even even have to fight them. We'd be able to flush them out just with like good old fashioned water. What button do we press? Uh, what button do I press? Because I will press it. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, they are, there are several um, buttons and they are. One, two, three, press all of them? four. There's there are four, four buttons. Okay, I'm going to make sure that the doors to us are shut mm -hmm. so that our room is so hopefully... Press the leftover buttons. And then we press the buttons. You said one. You said there are four buttons, right? Yeah, all right. You press all the buttons? Uh, no. This that seems, seems like a bad idea. That seems like a really bad idea. Where's my D4? Come here, D4. Over D4. Okay. I have a I've, question. Are these buttons arranged in the same order as these drinks? We're about to find out. I press button number four. Okay. Uh, button number four, and this, you can hear uh, a f lots of water and bubbling coming. Okay. And then a s after a minute, you hear like a suctioning. And now the water makes it into this room? Yeah, baby shut our doors. I did. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, that, was the yeah. uh, that was the first thing I did. Whew, you, just can, making... you can roll perception. Okay. I'm not oh I gotta I gotta crit, so it doesn't matter that I'm not good at it. Okay. <laughs> you perceive all. Um, I perceive all. Twenty-four. It you're not sure if under normal conditions if it would fill the entire chamber, but because there is a giant hole, it mm -hmm. like a lot of water probably spilled out. Okay. I'm assuming the uh, what you call it, the short rest hasn't fa hasn't finished yet. Not yet. No. Okay, then I'm gonna open up this bottom door and uh, hey, Zill, go see if the the hook creatures are still alive. You seem very familiar with them. Do you want me to go there now? Yeah, just go like peek <laughs> around the corner. Well, see now they've had time to hide. Oh my goodness! Oh my Why don't you go down? There? I'll go. All back. right, go. No, you're yes, resting yes, because please, you're go. you're resting because you oh, got hurt. Please, then you won't be able to rest. But I haven't gotten hurt. Oh, no! You need you nice need try. you need. Okay, fine. You go look then. Yeah, I'll go look. Wonderful. Go wish Wonderful. wish go along. I'll go peek around the corner. All wish right. can't be surprised. So, so uh... isn't wish dead? Oh, yeah. I brought her back to life because oh, already okay. Robot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It takes, okay. Wish... It takes a minute. <laughs> okay. I was being wish... overdramatic. <laughs> wish okay. is technically a feature of uh, Endel. A, um, I'm very sorry, dude. I'm too Elden. Tired. Elden. Yeah. El is technically a feature of Elden's. Yeah. Like, she's got a token, but she's not actually real. Sure. Okay. Yeah, Let's no, see. yeah, no. She takes, yeah, if she, if, if she, I can, I can bring her back with an action. It doesn't take very much. It just takes a wish. Just takes a wish. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay, so I'm going to peek around the corner and see what's happening. I have uh, 60 feet of dark vision. Okay. And you need to make a perception check. Boop. Did we turn the lights off? Damn you it. do not have any clue where the heck they went. Okay. That's okay. Does wish she still is gonna... have her bardic inspiration? Do I? How, how soon into this are you doing this? If it's like within the first eight minutes, maybe. Uh, uh, even with the bardic inspiration, it won't she help. Wouldn't... Okay. All yeah. right. 
right. Um, I'll the yell down the hallway for Wish to just go out there first and check out the tunnel. Is so she's going to go to there? where we were seeing, huh? Is, is see if the egg is still there. Maybe they took... Well, she's going to stop at the end of the tunnel entrance and take a look around. <laughs> First. Okay. Else even see the egg or just an empty. All right. Uh, perception. Twenty-three. Yay. Now, how would she let you know? She won't. Like she can't. She just she'd scan it and then she'd have to walk over there and tell me. Yeah. Or tell me. No, right. she she can only talk to me. <laughs> All right. So she talks and bleep she... bloops that only I can understand. When she uh, comes back to you, mm -hmm. um, she is going to tell you the egg is still there and the hook cores are hiding on the ceiling. Oh. Mm. Okay. Zill? So the water's not going to work. You may or may not have been right. I'm going to come back and stand next to my girl. They are... Um... Yeah, they're up on the ceiling now. Yes, of course. So flooding them out is not going to work? Nope. How high is the ceiling? How high is the ceiling? Oh. DM? <laughs> uh, did... Oh, yay high. <laughs> did, would she have been looking for that? I mean, I think if she noticed that they were on the ceiling, she'd have at least, like, some idea. Some idea? Even if it's not 100% mm. accurate. I mean, and other people probably are fifteen to twenty feet high. It's hard because it's a cavern, you know. Yeah. It's it's not even. Mm -hmm. But she oh. figures at the highest, it's probably between fifteen and twenty feet. At the based on what she can see. Yeah. So, but they're still there. Mm -hmm. Do we have to kill it? That's a question. Do we have to? Yes, ringleader said so. <sighs> Come on, boss. We and, um, it'll be fine. Grab a grab something to drink, and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Could we could we potentially take a short break? Because I think I need to go grab something to drink. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just do a yeah, short one, I'll like just, five minutes, or... like five minute little break. Yeah. Can yeah. do. All right. We'll see everybody in five minutes. Hello everyone and welcome back to D&D &D with Chrissiosity. We just took a quick break and then we are back to solving the problem of the su the, the stinky things in the sewers. Um, where did we leave off? Trying to flush away the things. Yes, I, you were yeah. pressing buttons. I was pressing buttons, they did nothing. And I killed them. Uh, Ringmaster said we gotta kill them. I really don't like this. Too bad. Well, cause you go first. You can regrow your limbs. I can go first. <laughs> Again, no, I cannot. I I don't. Marble, Marble says she'll go first, but I don't, I don't think she can. Understand why you you keep saying that? Okay, have, have you like you seen lizards? <laughs> you know, like when you go to deserts and there's lizards and then like their tails fall off and then they regrow them. Not all lizards can do that, and I can't but i you know you haven't tried yet give it a try sometimes see if it works members of my species we can try for me i'll go you're not a lizard i mean maybe cats can regrow the limbs don't you don't know wish go with her <laughs> will one of you just go wish and go yeah wish is going Going. Which door? What doors are we opening? All oh, yeah. No, all these doors are closed. Haha. <laughs> I have control of the doors. Um, uh, we'll open the bottom, the bottom two again. Bottom two doors. We'll go down, down bottom wise. Yeah. All right. Go wish and everyone else. Oh, yes. This is our, this is our marching order. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Well, you should be speaking, further up. speaking, speaking out of character. Right. If you send Wish into the room, right, it'll mm -hmm. hopefully draw the hook horrors out 
and allow us yeah. to actually enter the room and not get stuck in the corridor like we did before. Okay. You want you want wish to drag people out or uh, whatever trick them to be coming out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I got a better idea. Um, I am going. To, oh, I'm going to go grab my my music box that I left behind, saying caution, do not enter. <laughs> um, um. Hey, walks, come here. I need a favor from you. You see this box? Yes. I need you to sound like a like a scared injured lizard into it. What do you mean into it? Like like you, you yell like as if you were yell injured. Yes, yell at it like you were injured. Okay. Like oh no. I no. can do that. I am not okay. sure why I need oh, to do arm. that. Okay. Can't regrow it. Do it. Yes. Is that a deception? Performance? I would say performance. Okay. But without the strength. Just performance. Yeah, obviously. No, I'm borrowing an advantage for some reason. Sorry. Six. Uh, six. Okay. You go, Ugh. Well, that was um, that was a sound you made. That's okay. Very good at acting. <laughs> um, that's okay. We'll 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 try our best here. Um, and then I'm gonna grab my little music box. I mean, and it I'm... occurs to you that even when you are very badly injured, you don't usually scream. So that's about as much as you would do. You were doing it honestly. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, a, man, I'm a good. I'm a predator, not a prey. All right, I am going to throw it into the end. No, okay, come back, Walks. We're gonna we're gonna back up a little. I didn't bit. go anywhere. I know. No, I mean, go. <laughs> get, mm. Walks. You did this to yourself. Get back. Just a little bit, please. Okay, let let wish there. Okay, we're, I'm gonna throw my my music box. Do, into the do entrance. You want, do you want me to throw it? Yeah, you probably have a better arm than I do. <laughs> Here you go. I can chug it further in if you yeah. want. Well, I don't want to chug further in. Like we want to drag them out, right? Do we want to hit it here? Yeah, yeah. We want to hit there. Okay. We want I'll, to attract them out. That's what we want to do. I will lop. I will lop the music box over there. All right. And this is the thing that said. Ugh. Yeah. This yeah. is the thing that said. Ugh. Yeah. So it's saying. Ugh. Was it All right, I hands? will. Is this meant to be an ambush? Yeah, I can't grow my limbs. Um, hopefully not. <laughs> no, I mean, us ambushing them. Yes, we're ambushing them. Yes, we're trying the opposite this time. We're drawing them out. All right, I am yeah, going, going to see. Is Vani, is, is Vani gonna stay up here? Vani's well, just okay. like, I'm gonna not be part of this stupid plan. Sorry, I've been running yes, Vani a lot of like tech. So yeah, exactly. She had to go to the bathroom, leave her alone. Yeah. <laughs> she needs it's some privacy. You can go anywhere. Well, yeah, she's like a you know shy peer. So she's back uh, can and now. <laughs> but I hope so. Mm -hmm. It has to be canon for the rest of the campaign. All right. They do absolutely nothing. You just sit there and look at the music box going, ew. Ooh. Yeah, well, ew. That was worth a try. Ew. Um, this cave is unlit, right? <laughs> like, it's dark in there. The cave is, yeah, the cave is dark. Uh, people with dark vision can see really really well in there, but... You have you a guys, stupid none idea. None of you guys yeah. can. So, I have my goggles. I can see just fine. Hey, okay. Stupid okay. ideas are better than no ideas. All right. I could collapse. run in that is with my cat speed and <laughs> grab their egg. All right, everyone, hold their action for when they come in, <laughs> we and then run back. Take up ambush positions if we're going to do this. Yes, uh, I'm going to put Wish at the door, and I'm going to stand behind her. I'm going to stand exactly where I am. I'm going to stand exactly where I am. I'm going to stand here at the ready. So I just dash in, dash out with the egg. Mm -hmm. This is going to get bad for you. It'll be, it'll be fine. Oh, this is a great idea. It's a wonderful idea. I love this idea. Hell yeah. All right. No. So what's you your... Five, you can get to eat the egg once I've cooked it. Sounds disgusting. What? 
You have like, no idea how it's what it tastes like. Yeah, it's probably it's... fertilized. So? Oh. All right, Zebiani, please save me from this nonsense. Idea? Okay, so uh, marble, mm -hmm. you run in. Yep. Um, using my cat speed. Using your cat speed, you I'm pick so up the Gosh. the egg with um, with your action. So just it's not going to be high. You probably just need. Oh, oh, before she goes in there, sorry, because I'm going to help you out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to sit there and describe to you what the terrain looks like and where you should step and what places you should avoid so that I can guide you on how to do this. Why, well, thank you. You're welcome. What am I rolling? What is the that deep. going to do? Guidance. guidance. Okay, all right. It's <laughs> a very long way of saying I cast guidance. <laughs> no, I'm a, I cannot cast magic. Ah, all right, all right. My so, whole thing. Um, <laughs> one personality trait. Just roll a d20. <laughs> I'm rolling this. What was the roll? Just a d20. You can roll sleight of hand if you want. Oh, sleight of hand? Mm-hmm. I did it. Uh oh. Yeah. So you go over there, you run, and you're so, you're just like ahead of yourself, really. Like, mm -hmm. you reach Close down to pick it up. Pulse and you're 19 year old. Already <laughs> trying to like head back, and the, the egg slips out of the nest. And you look behind, and that is, you are about to have book horrors on you. So they are going to yeah. you know, come right here. Jump down, because this is kind of what they were waiting for. Somebody came in and tried to go for you the next one job. So I, I got excited. <laughs> you, you started snorting like. <laughs> I hate you so much. Got so excited, just started snorting. Oh my God. You think it's... This is a weird conversation for you, for you two to have, especially since you are in the same room. Okay, so they are going to attack. Um. Yeah, and then we're going to go into. Once again, our thing. So hang on. All right. Okay, and okay. There's going to be some attacks at because they're kind of going to blank you. I'm going to say the first one is not going to get at advantage, but the second one, everything is going to be at advantage because he's going to run up and, and you're going to be flanked. Okay, so so twenty-two and eighteen. Yep. Okay, and the second one twelve and fourteen. Huh? I'm down. No, those are those Oops. are the hits. Oh, you, for twenty. Oh, you are down. Yeah. I'm down. You're down on the first one. Wow. Yes. For 11 piercing damage? 11, 11 plus 14. 14. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly my hit points. Ouch. <laughs> so she run. you see her, she runs in. She goes to pick up the nest. The egg falls out. She goes, oh, shoot. And then two hook horrors just swoop in. And the next thing you know, uh, she is on the floor of the cavern for uh, Temerity can probably see. Zill can see. I don't know who else can see. So Well, that didn't go as she planned. Yeah, we need to <laughs> save her now. Next time, we just collapse the cavern. All right, Bionni. Our, did we turn the lights on in this room? In this room, yes. Uh, How far into gonna... the next room does it 
sort of spill. There's a light spill. Not really that far. Maybe 10 feet. Uh, Did my old actions have to go through since I can see oh. them? Yeah, go ahead. Yes. Did you hold an action? Yeah. Yeah, to hold the dead on the one that is closest to me. Okay. The southern one. So it needs to make a wisdom save of 14. Okay. God damn it. Alright, so yeah, you can't you can shoot at them with disadvantage if you wanted, or find some way to, to light things up. Beyond me. Sorry, I didn't realize that you were talking to me. Um so yeah, she is gonna like hear the cry of her bestie. By the way, she put a little half heart icon on herself to represent her friendship mm. with Marble. Uh, so she's going to dash, um, basically use her movement to get in there to, I guess, a point where she can kind of, like, see. Uh, and then uh, she's just going to try to, like, as a bonus action, hide um, so that next turn she can maybe get over to her and give her a cure wounds or something. And that's okay. going to be her turn. I, I, I will All grab right. her. I assume, Oh, I've got the wrong grabber. Okay, just go to the next person. I'll, I'll, I'll so for hide, you have to roll stealth, right? I don't know. I believe so. Yes, it's supposed okay. to roll stealth. Okay. I haven't been a rogue before, so this is a learning experience for me. So here yeah, it's comes. It's a bonus action, but yeah. Okay, here comes my stealth roll. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty stealthy. All pretty right. Stealthy. Um, and Marble, I'm needing um. I think I'm going to take a page from uh, Christy, and I'm going to roll you a death Traitor! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did that to my team today, too. Why not? <laughs> that was <a> great <laughs> Well, yeah, you know. Clues deserved it after all that time. After everything we've been through, Chrissy... <laughs> You do this to me. First, <laughs> first day, first session. Gonna kill off a character. No. <laughs> One way to set the toe. I have to draw a whole new character. Look at that expression. That is the expression of somebody who just got a one. <laughs> I have a good poker face. Poker face. Uh... <laughs> All right, uh, Temerity. I'm going to run to there. Just so, okay. if anything, so if they do spot Fiani, I can be her shield mm -hmm. and attack this one. Okay. So, the spear attack. That hits. Okay. And then first unarmed. Why that hits. Really good. Yeah. Okay, and then spend the key and get another couple of unarmed. 14. Uh, it does uh, not hit. God damn it. Oh, no. fuck. It did That's not. That's You got two. You got two. You got two. Yeah. Two solid hits. You, you ring his bell and then that's about that. They just try too hard. All right. Uh, Zill. Uh, let's see. I'll step here so I can at least see both of them. How far away am I currently? Where's my little measuring stick? There it is. Nope. Cool. I will, um, so was the egg broken or is it just out of the nest? Uh, rule perception? Oh, well, I thought maybe I saw it since I could have seen it before. <laughs> um, there was uh, a lot of commotion, so. Oh, well, Interesting you know, perception. Fifteen. 
it you, you can't be a hundred percent sure you don't think it broke okay well regardless i will cast um the spell i cast before but i'll use a sorcery spell point or two is it two or one uh two i'll okay, it's been two sorcery points and um cast uh what is this spell called uh, phantasmal force once more but on both of them um okay. and essentially what they will see both of them see uh two uh two small versions of elden appear um and they have both each one has an egg that looks identical to the egg that was in the nest um and they are running away from them uh, one in the north is running to the north, and the one in the south is running away from, from the south. Okay. Um, yes, so until they investigate that, they won't just believe it. Okay. All right. And that will be um, my turn. The ringleader. Okay. Uh, you are muted, or I can't hear you anyway. Sadly, I wasn't speaking. Okay. Um, because I'm an idiot. Okay, so it was 30 feet moving from there to there. Mm -hmm. And then I used Healing Word, and it's going to be on the Lady Marble. Uh, so, Marble, congrats, you get, uh, 1d4 plus 1. You get 3 health. Congrats. Hey, what was the name of that spell? Phantasmal Force? Mm hmm Yes. I believe okay. it's called that. Uh, double check. I can, I can throw it off. It's something like that. Yeah, it's Phantasmal Force. There you go. Oh my goodness. All right. So that's reading. Uh, Elden, it is. Um, so, yes, you give her three health points. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else you're going to do? Uh, yes. I'm going to use my action in order to uh, use my second wild shape in order to assume another starry form. This starry form is going to be. Uh, where is it? Could I re please rearrange what I did, my actions, slightly? Uh, sure. Okay. So, the starry form is there, and I want mm -hmm. to assume the shape of, I want to assume the form of the chalice. Mm -hmm. And then I'll use the healing word. Because okay. if you... A constellation of life-giving goblet of a life-living goblet appears on you. Whenever you cast a spell using a spell slot that restores hit points to a creature, you or another creature within 30 feet of you regain hit points equal to eight, uh, a D8 plus your wisdom modifier. And I'd like it to also be on... Ooh, I would okay. like it to also be on marble. All right. So, Ooh. marble, you've got an 11 hit points back. And, uh, yeah, that is my turn. All right. Um, so... Great. That brings us to Elden. All right. I'm going to send Wish in her one, two, three, four, five. Um, and I'm going to, God, why are you in the way? Oh, step here. And I'm going to yell, you, you didn't have to, you didn't have to snort when you got in there. You literally had to pick up the egg and then run back. That was it. And I'm going to shoot at this guy with my pew pew once. Oh, and oh, I'm gonna. So, mm -hmm. Sorry, nope. Go ahead. Okay, 
pew at the one guy with a 17 plus 6 23 and that this hits this man, guy okay now the man at the bottom there and i, I he, believe this one is a woman actually i oh. think this is the mama oh well a mama uh, with a 12 points of magical piercing damage from my magic gun and then i'm gonna have um Wish uh, used a help action with to help out Temerity whenever he attacks. Okay. So, Wolks. See, the problem is I can't see Jack shit in there. Uh, you 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 still have your 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 bugs. Yeah, that's like five feet of light. Yeah, you're fine. You get in there. You're a big, so, strong man. Your limbs will go back. You'll be you fine. How? Wait, the constellation things makes you glow, right? Uh, yes, it does. I've got twenty. There's no, uh, yeah, there is light, light in there. Source. Haha, I'm, there is light in there. I'm basically a light you. source now. Yeah, for twenty feet. Okay, I am gonna use my action to dash. So I can get here. Then uh, I am gonna use, and then I'm gonna use. Um, oh, what's the best thing to do here? I'm gonna use my bonus action to do hungry jaws jaws on this one. Okay. Seventeen hits. Uh, five piercing, and then it has to do the um... con save. Okay. Mm -hmm. It yep. doesn't. So it takes the free poison damage, and it it's in a lot of pain. You hear it making all kinds of bangy, clangy ah, noises. Does not um, like that. I would. No, nope, that's my turn. Okay. Um, and. All right. So they do get to make an intelligence save at be the beginning. So one does not make it. Neither of them make it. So okay. they so now believe that there is a small version of Elden running around about 10 feet ahead of them. So like here, oh, it won't do it. Hold on. Here and over here, down here. It sees it up against the wall back there. Again, it rationalizes it. And okay. uh, it sees a little Elden there holding an egg um, that looks like its own waving it around taunting them it can't run away it's just stuck in that 10 foot cube but yeah so what are they gonna do i think as dumb as these guys are they're gonna run and try to actually it's 10 feet away from them now yeah all right they don't even have to move so um, they are going to considering this is at nothing, it doesn't really matter. Um, so they are gonna this one is gonna try to do it. This guy, I'm gonna say, having seen his friend just sort of like uh, you know, just sort of try to get at something. He's going to try to investigate what's happening. I really don't see this going well for him, but one never knows. All right, so that is an investigation. Intelligence check. All right, so straight intelligence check. Yeah, zero. So it is completely convinced that there's baby El Elden 
holding an egg. So yeah, they just lost their turn for that. And no one and no one else sees these little Eldens. This is just for Zill's amusement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Viani. <laughs> so um, they're acting weird. Yeah, um, but she doesn't care. She's going to aim at the one that she can see better from the light coming source of from the south. Mm -hmm. And she's going to notch her short bow and let the arrow fly. Yeah, and because she's got allies there. And so 12. Okay. Piercing. And uh, she sees that her friend is up, uh, so she will... Um, well, alive. Alive, yes. So she's going to, um, yeah, continue to hide. Now, with the additional help of a tiefling of wings. Yes, exactly. And that's the end of my turn. All right. You can roll a uh, stealth, and you can do it with advantage, honestly. These guys are distracted. <laughs> yeah. All right. And Marble, you are back. You have 11 whole points of health. Mm-hmm. Um, she's going to make her way out of there and stand here. All right, you are going to get a couple of attacks of opportunity on you. I don't think you can move that far. Yes, I can. No, you have to spend half your movement to stand up. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh. Never mind. I'm and then you can take feet, then. You disengage. You feet of your movement. Yeah, you can take yeah. disengage as your action. You can, mm -hmm. if you really want to move away altogether. I would ask. I, I I don't know if it matters, but would they attack her if she's if they're concerned with the egg with the with the Eldens? Well, we've no way of knowing that. That's true. Yeah. We have no way of doing knowing that. That's true. So in that case, she's going to cast guiding bolt. Well, no, sacred flame at this guy. Okay, deck save. Yes. Don't forget to stand up. Yeah. What? Don't forget to stand up. Yeah, of course I'm going to stand up. Okay. But you just didn't say it. Yeah, you didn't say it. Can you two stop <laughs> kicking no. at me? No. All right, he takes <laughs> that. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and Merity. Merity's just going to keep attacking. Nope. Not successfully, though. Yep. So, six bludgeoning, spend the key point, get extra two attacks. Fail. Nope. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, one of those. The first one probably, um, um, which was helping you. That was her held action. All right, so that you. is a port. It didn't help. Okay. Should have waited to the third one. I know, well, but she, she does isn't, the first one. Isn't help advantage? Yeah, exactly. So 14. But I think it's yeah. only for one attack. Oh, I thought, I it, was the, I thought it was the, un, un, the unarmed strike. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong set of attacks. Yeah. My bad. All right, so, so 15. that 15 hits. Right. And that was seven bludgeoning. Mm. Okay. That's All it. right. Anything else? Nope. All right, Zill. Well, uh, I can see that they're still preoccupied. I will go ahead and toll the dead, this one that's closer to me. Okay. While I maintain my spell concentration. Did uh, so that's a one, yeah, that's one good damage. Made it. Mm -hmm. I've worn these bells, but oh, oh well. And that will be my turn. I'll just stand here and I'll make the little the little the little Eldens uh act like they're trying to eat the egg now. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> they're just like biting at it, but 
they haven't broken through yet. So you can just try a little harder. Mm. <laughs> you can stop these Eldens. I could be really angry at Elden after this. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, speaking of which, uh, Ringleader. Oh, I'm the Ringleader. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, right. Time to just kind of slither over to here. And I'm going to use the opportunity to cast guidance on Vox. You know that's only for like ability checks, right? Uh, yes, no. Please do it. Oh, okay. Sorry, my <laughs> bad. Yeah. There you go. And yeah, uh, with my bonus action, I'm going to finger guns towards the hook horror because they're pretty good. And uh, that's it. That's me. Okay. So, hold in. All right, I guess everyone's jumping in here, so go hang out behind this guy, behind the ringmaster, and I'm going to pew pew top the top one with a... You know what? Screw that. You're not doing enough damage to Merity. I'm going to have... I'm going to use my bonus action to tell Wish to help me out so that I can do this with advantage. Okay, wait... All right, all right. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, rather than than um, so nineteen to hit. Yes. On that guy and uh, seven points of piercing magic damage on the top guy, and then wish is just gonna keep keep an eye on protecting everybody, and that's that's about it. All right. Um. So these guys, he is, these guys are both going to do kind of the same thing, which is waste one of their hook shots, but they're also being pummeled. So they have to like, and there is an e still an egg over here. So they're going to kind of do a little bit of both. So the first hook is to nothing. It's to, oh yeah, the crit, the crit that went to nowhere. Um, and the second one, I'm going to say, is going to be probably at, at the kitty cat, because she's the one that's closer to the egg. Sorry. 16? Wish, wish starts making a whole bunch of, no, it doesn't matter. It's with the disadvantage, it's 16. Misses. You, you. It misses? Okay. Yeah, it does. Okay. And this guy is going to do his first... Oh, well, this lady is going to do the first attack at nothing. 21 does great. Um, all right. So I'm going to say odds goes after Wolks. Evens goes after the kitty cat. Oh, it goes after wolves. Okay. Nope. Nope. Doesn't really matter anyway. Yep. Just another waste. Don't worry about it, wolves. You can regrow your limbs. <laughs> You're just gonna like at this point. Yeah, this is just an exercise in in spending time. All right, go for it. Take them down. <laughs> All right, I would like to use my action uh, to attempt to grapple him or her. Okay. So that's an athletics for me, plus my d4. Okay. 17. 
Okay. And they can use either the athletics or the acrobatics, whatever the better at. They don't really have either, but they have strength. Nope, they're grappled. Okay. And then I am going to use my action search and I am going to attack it by punching it. Yep. Uh, they take five bludgeoning damage. Okay. That is my turn. So that's. Wait a second. Skips rocks then. Yeah, oh, you did skips. the baddies oh. before him, but then you did him afterwards. So sorry, it's just a flip flop. Sorry, Wolks. All right, Biani. All right. Yep. Arrow comes flying out again. Uh, for seven more, and she'll continue to use the uh, well. She'll use the dodge action. And actually, I'm trying to think. Um, they're pretty distracted, aren't they? No, she has to be in a distance. Never mind. She's gonna stay where she is. If um, yeah. If if Marble goes down again, she still has one spell in her pocket, but she'd rather save it in case she does go down. So that's gonna be the end of her turn. Okay. And marble. I'm gonna sacred flame the same guy. Okay. And oopsie, wrong thing. Got the neck saves in there. Ooh, there nice. Go. Five. Happy match. And that's it for me. One. Okay. Uh, Temerity. This is still up. Wow. These are tough creatures. They they don't have a lot going on, but they're tough. Okay, four piercing. Four. They're both bloodied. That helps. Oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Don't yes. Yeah. Well, if it's still up, that goes to the last key point. That hits. And one last attack, I guess. Mm -hmm. That hits. Wow. Nice. Oh, so close. <laughs> but you got us close. That's the important thing. Yeah. yeah. You got us close. That was a great round. Seriously. All right. Zill. All right. Well, seeing as my spell is still there, um, is the part about the damage on this thing. Bridge with this, with four acid. Okay. Okay. So the small um, Eldens are going to uh, slowly melt into uh, devilish forms, uh, imps or something. And as they do, they rip the eggs to shreds and then leap onto the hook or's faces, uh, biting at them. They'll both take a d6 psychic damage from this. Okay. So the one in the north uh, takes five, and the other one in the south takes one. <clears throat> And then I will step inside. I'm going to cast Toll of the Dead on this one. Needs to make a DC 14. Wisdom save. Ooh. He doesn't make this. He's not going to survive. 
It's a uh, D12. You can describe his terrible death. So as the creature leaps onto its face and begins chewing and a large bell appears over its head and rings out a singular tone, in which point sends a wave of necrotic energy through the side of the uh, hook horror's back exoskeleton, which cracks open, spewing forth its organs. Oh, it's uh, it's putrid. It just like oh, just the the caverns are resounding with the sound of these bells, and just the stench. Yeah, it's just disgusting. And is that your whole turn? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ringleader, one left. All right. Ringleader is taking a step forward, and let's see if I can do this. Stabby. Yep. Oh my god, I've done so much damage! <laughs> Yo! I fucked this guy's shit up! He goes, eh. My landlady is going to kill me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I have to use a library voice at this time of night. No. <laughs> okay. I that's always shout in libraries. I'm gonna have to say, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say that's my turn. Except I actually just want to use my movement, so I'm just gonna do this. There you go. Now it's become ASMR D and D. <sighs> It's not ASMR, that there's much to not see, asthma. but oh, okay. I didn't actually mean to do that. I just wanted to fiddle with my okay. with my movement speed. It's fine. Now you can see the beautiful <laughs> in the cavern. Oh, there's nothing more. That's it. That's it. There's nothing else in there. No uh, fine. Chests. There's no secret treasure chest. There's no secret treasure oh. chest. Why would there be a secret treasure chest? I mean, why would they, why horror, would there be right? hook what things be? here? Yeah. That, well, that's because this is where they live. You're oh, underground. This is their home. Look at us <laughs> invading their home. Mm -hmm. Terrorizing oh, these poor hook creatures. That's fine. We're committing so many crimes. All right. uh, uh, this guy's grappled, things. right? Uh, well, yeah. that doesn't really do anything for you. But yes, he is. Don't I get a she is. advantage? No. No. Huh. Grappled is really not much. It just restricts his movement. We have to okay. prestige to break out the cards. That's okay. Uh, Wish is going to move over and just pummel away with a 14 plus 5, 19 to hit. Okay. Yep, that hits. She gets 10 points of damage for that. And then Alden's going to take out his, take out Veronica and take a shot with fucking eight. That's not going to do anything. Nope. That's nope. So, um, gets a, gets a little, the bullet gets a little too close to, to marble. I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. I got a little too excited there. Maybe you shouldn't have snorted. <laughs> <laughs> Volks, this time I'm not going to forget you. Okay, first uh, he takes a d4 uh, bludgeoning for being, because I start my turn with him being grappled, or her being grappled. Okay. That's three bludgeoning. Um, question, if I was to move over here, um, could I do that without letting go of the grapple? Like, could I spin, like... You could try it, but I think that would give her an opportunity to try to get away from you. That's because fair. You, you, she's very big, and you're trying to maneuver yeah. her. No, that's that's fair. Uh, so on athletics, uh, against her athletics, I guess. Okay. Like, basically a second grapple uh, attempt. Oof, 13. Come on, girl. Nope. Damn it. 
Okay. She's still grappled. So I'm here over here. So I'm now flanking so I get advantage. And I'm going to use my action to punch. 19. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 11 bludgeoning. More. tough and that ends my turn all right she is gonna just wail on you since you have her and you're pulling her around even though she's living in a nightmare where imps are fight biting her face and that's fair no that's fair is is uh 16 hit you well, it's a question of if uh, Wish would have uh, used her reaction to pose, pose disadvantage or not. Since R&D isn't here. <laughs> I'm going to say no. Okay. Then, <laughs> I yes, don't know. One of, one of I, 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 yeah. I don't know. 13. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, was a lot of damage, but I'll be fine. Yeah, I mean they may have, but I I think you should at least say something before leaving. You know, like she'll do that. New yeah, rule. that's fair. New rule. That's fair. Okay. All right, Fiani. Yes, her arrow goes flying again across the cavern, aiming for the heart of the last beast. You can describe its terrible death. Oh, uh, so as Wax has it grappled and it's flailing around, it uh, sort of like flicks its head back and uh, in its you know weakened state, it's a little bit slower than usual and Viani's able to get a pin on its eye and just as it starts to move its head back up, she lets it fly and just goes right through the eye and the brainstem and it collapses. It makes a little skexies kind of, and just falls over. Whew. Okay, you are in here with the dead bodies of a whole bunch of monsters and and an egg lying on the ground. Get that egg. Yeah, I think the egg should be taken. It's I'm gonna pick up something. the egg. Yeah, you could probably get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise it as my own. <laughs> Have fun with that. We could sell it and split the profits, or we could raise it as our own. <laughs> Can you imagine one of these things on our side? It'd be great. They're monstrosities. Can imagine what it would do for the circus. Yeah, it'd be like a circus attraction. Uh, Ringmaster, I have a new circus attraction for you. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> You're not the ringmaster. This is such a good idea. I don't care. No, I this does not seem like a safe ideas. idea. Yes. Okay, we have a yes from the only person who matters. <laughs> this circus is a democracy. That's true. Anyway, we. Uh, <laughs> why couldn't it have been a dictatorship? Uh, Damn it. <laughs> you almost got there. Almost. All right. We'll take it with us. We'll vote on it with the camp of the circus. We can just vote now. Hmm? We can just vote now. We're part of we're not the, the important the people family. in the circus. Well, there's a whole circus involved in this. It's not just us. Okay, okay, so now it's an oligarchy. It's <laughs> yeah, now it's an oligarchy. It's fine. No. Yeah. We're gonna take we're gonna take the egg. I have it. Don't get too excited. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna drag still it out. I think the safest option is to cook it. Where? I mean, it would taste good. Is there a place where these hook whores were coming from? Is it like a, a hole to the underdark somewhere? Oh yeah. I'll I'll spend some time here looking around this whole little cave area, see where where they came from. So there's like an exit entrance. Roll um, investigation. I, was I am good at that. that. Yeah, I'll assist you. Okay. okay. Good, because the first one, uh, 18. 
Okay. Uh, after a while, what you find is this thing is blocking not only uh, whatever was going on, whatever business was going on in the sewer, but but also somehow managed to block off where this connected. And oh. actually, as you sort of listen, you can hear other hook horrors. Oh, oh, wonderful. Mm. It's a whole nest. Well, we should probably get out of here before they find a way up here. Yes, um, yeah. tell them to block it off again. <laughs> we did kill the rust monsters and we have this egg, so let's go. Good idea. Yeah, probably. Okay, wonderful. I'm on my way now. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean we're following you out? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Vox. I really, I really want to. Yeah, we we need to have a conversation about freshwater fish. <laughs> Why are we like? We're, we're just leaving this map. Why are we all moving? <laughs> because we're, we're done. You and, I, you and I are walking slowly, yes. having a conversation <laughs> about freshwater fish. All right. You can add one uh, hook horror egg. Uh, Marvel has it. Yes, I do. Okay. Would, would this be a good place to end? Because it is five in the morning almost. <laughs> yeah, I need to walk. Okay. Sure. I do work tomorrow, even though everyone has COVID. Ridiculous. Oh, no. no. Yeah, they, they, I, I've been sitting here reading the uh, groups and it's just like, one of the, the people were like, just just eat cucumbers and drink eat good food, duh, you dummy, oh, you'll be okay. Cucumbers? Like, yeah, just you be eat healthy foods and you won't get no. sick. Cucumbers. And then, and then the, the other person is like, if you feel like you have to get tested, then get tested. But otherwise, there's no real reason for everybody not to be here. It's like, oh, oh there's very good reason I love, to be there. I love the South. It's so great. Okay. I'm so glad I'm not in the South anymore. Oh, my God. Tennessee is so Yeah, great. you're just in Nebraska. The state you're just in Nebraska lies. instead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So much better. Lateral move, I think. Honestly, <laughs> it's at least it's like, like, colder. I've been happy to live in Massachusetts many times, but wow, like, <laughs> yeah, never so much as in the past say, year. Just like, hey, everyone here, around here is sane. You go places, people wear masks, people yeah. social distance. No, Everybody no. I know has their vaccinations. It's like, what a concept. I hate it. Yeah, it's like a what level is, bubble. What is, this, what is <laughs> this thing called social distance? Uh, such a weird place. <laughs> on that horrible note. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, thanks to everyone for joining us on our first ever Twitch stream. If you enjoyed Yay. this, yeah, you might be watching it on YouTube in the future because it doesn't last on Twitch very long. But no. um, yes, uh, until well, we played Sunday this week, but we're moving over to Saturday nights permanently, uh, starting mm -hmm. next week. Yep. And so then, all that's left to be said is goodbye from me. And oh wait, wait, yeah. can we plug things? We can plug things real quick. Yeah, yeah, plug things. No, not that. So, so you should follow everyone here on Twitter, but I don't know everyone's handles. So I'm gonna go with mine because we already <laughs> have some really great clips from tonight, <laughs> yeah. from tonight's stream up on my my Twitter account. Oh, so awesome. go find uh, at ret and disc on the on the twitter verse and you can find some really fun clips from tonight's show so go go check that out excellent um, i'm sure i'm sure other people have twitters too i don't know how to raid we'll work that out the next time so we're just going to end the stream <laughs> you here. just type slash raid yeah i i had to yeah there's a whole thing we'll do it off air so no, <laughs> 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 Yes. Technical uh, issues for next episode. Yes. So um, goodbye from me and goodbye from the party. Say goodbye, party. Goodbye, goodbye party. party. Hey, they did the bit.